it and get away with it, but you can't ever, ever tell anyone. It's the Bob and Tom Show. He's coming for you. He's gonna get you. Take the queen of man. He's coming for you. He's gonna get you. Take the queen of man. Late at night when the bars are closing, alcohol takes its toll, and the drinkers need their favorite vendor. A tasty treat of sausage splendor. <laughs> Little man behind the car, police can't catch him because he's way too smart. The smell of mustard and a big umbrella. Hot dog man's got the perfect cover. <laughs> he's coming for you. He's gonna get you. Out in the street, the hunters want to sample the beats. He can't help but relish the fact the foot long keeps you coming back. <laughs> Once you're feeling safe and cool, that's when the wiener man makes his move. <laughs> <laughs> you can't scream when your mouth is full. <laughs> He's coming for you. Wiener season, isn't it? Wiener season. Wiener. That's right. Oh, Temperatures are warming up in many places. And do you uh, mean like hot dogs <laughs> at the ballpark? Of course. Or do you mean just uh, hot dogs? Random exposure. At, well, as it gets warmer. In front of elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> you could have picked anywhere else. Yeah, yeah I, I would have. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Even I would have. Sure. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> High schools. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Junior colleges. Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. Pat Godwin in the music room. Hey, Josh. In for Chick today, it's Jeff Oske. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I am Josh Arnold at the Steven Singer sidekick chair, and there is Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we have nudity in the news today. Maybe that's why I had uh, exposure on my mind. Oh, I yeah. got you. Uh, yeah, we have a, another idiot uh, being arrested naked. I saw the Wienermobile yesterday. You did? Yes. You know, I'm, you know I'm, a big, I'm a big fan, you know. Right. I know you are. That's why uh, I brought it up. I wonder what it's doing. It was here for the eclipse, I bet. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. right. uh, we have a, a, yeah. a, a, a post ecliptic did, did we determine that's a word, or are we making that up? I kind of like it. post ecliptic uh, news story. We have a couple of them. Uh, and yeah. uh, I'm kind of somewhat disappointed. Uh, we had mm -hmm. been promised that uh, Josh was going to be trimming down the beard yesterday, and apparently it didn't happen. I didn't say yesterday, no. Uh, 
I thought you specifically <laughs> said you were no. taking the beard down. I, I, I said I would. Yeah. Yeah, I said I was going to trim it, but it, it, no, no, I don't have a day in mind. I, I see. Like, I, I see. like it the way it is. I, oh, I, thanks. I, I believe that uh, your uh, your brothers were mocking you. Yeah. I mean, they'd mock me though if I were had a trim beard, if I were clean right, exactly. shaven. It's you it's know, because they're that's, your brothers. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, that's for, their that's their place. That's the thing they do. Brothers gonna brother. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, but uh, hey, bully. You, you have the very bushy full beard. Yeah, yeah. No, it is coming down soon. Okay. Um, and speaking of bushy full beards, Jeff Oskey's over there. That is a serious beard. That's right. Uh, when did you first grow that? I never did ask. Uh, at twelve. Oh wow, that's uh, twelve yeah, years old. Early, yeah. That's a little early. Yeah, you got uh, you know, a lot of uh, potential there with that beard, even as a kid. I bet <laughs> a you're, lot you're, of did, potential. I mean, it's. I mean, I, what I'm saying is, <laughs> if you didn't shave, it would be back in a day. Oh yeah. Well, he's done that. Remember, we yeah, cleaned him is, up. Uh, remember the day we yeah. put him in a cardigan and oh, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, that was very nice. Job Shaved interview. your face. Got have, you, have you ever just done like you, you did the porno stash there for a while? Yeah. I like that very much. That was a great look. I like Josh's beard. You look like you're like an 1800s politician. Oh, I love like it. you would, like you could be a president Some or a cough yeah. senator. And, and, and you uh, should be on Manhunt. It's, show. <laughs> yeah, that's the one about searching for a, a John, John Wilkes Booth. Booth. Very yeah. good. Um, again, it's a very dark beard, except it does appear that. You uh, were drinking milk, and it just spilled down. Oh, yeah, it's gray all on it's, the chin. It's, it, yeah. But it's just gray just below the, if you draw a line south from the side of your lips. Yeah, it's interesting how that happens. And but the, uh, and I like it. And this is what your brothers were, uh, they thought this was mildly amusing. Oh, or? sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you've been having funnel cakes? No. <laughs> <laughs> gray hair. Yeah, funnel cakes, for some reason, makes it funnier. <laughs> Rather than just milk. Just to, to I'm imply. afraid I'm looking too much like one of those 80s movie, like, friendly but aggressive teen counselors. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you come in here with your tough guy attitude. I'm not buying it. What are you afraid of? <laughs> And the kid starts crying. Yeah. Oh, and then they end up in the breakfast club. Yeah. Yes. Now, you uh, mentioned, Christy, you saw the uh, the famous Wienermobile. Yes, I did. And we had in the news the other day, we had the uh, Mr. Peanut Mobile. Mm -hmm. They're looking for, uh, I mean, what a great job this would be. Uh, Driving around in the Peanut Mobile? Yeah. I think it's like a one-year appointment. You get to be the the Peanut Ambassador. You get to drive the Peanut Mobile. Wow. Uh, I wonder how many of those vehicles there are out there. Besides the... Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. And, uh, by the way, uh, uh, fans of the uh, uh, game uh, Connections uh, will be uh, aware that there was a big controversy. Oh, I, bet, uh, I, bet it, yeah, I bet it led all the yeah, news. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Connections controversy. I got it. It was... Uh, it was oh, of uh, course you did. It was, uh, well, it was because it was Mr. Peanut. Yes. And it, because the clues were Top Hat, Monocle, Cane, and Spat. Not spats. I never thought about the. Do uh, you know what a spat? What spats are? Yeah, there's sure, something yeah. that cover your shoes back yeah. in the day. Yeah. That no one has ever. I can't imagine anyone ever wearing well, these except for some kind day. of costume drama. Right. I had to explain it to my 11 year old what spats were. But does she uh, play connections? Yeah, she and yeah, she. Uh, I helped her get that one, but she got the other. She's very good. Uh, but uh, spat, uh, as opposed to the past tense of spitting. But uh, just no, it goes to show that Mr. Peanut is uh, currently a viable clue in our culture and contemporary games. <laughs> so everyone, uh, <laughs> I, I, wow. Glad you were able to get that out. Yeah, well, it's important. Poison the airwaves with it. Mr. Peanut, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm All a fan, right, I'm a fan, of, fan of the top hat. <laughs> when did the monocle go out? And what was the purpose of it? Just why do you only, need one spectacle? Beca because one of your eyes is twenty twenty, the other one is I, not. Oh. That or reading issue. That or I know that in today's world, um, there are people who only wear one contact. Exactly. Like one oh, eye does really? one function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's really know. messy. Your brain up, yeah, I think. Uh, who knows? But but yeah, the monocle is an interesting look. I remember. Didn't uh, I think uh, the, one of the dummies? I think Charlie McCarthy or someone had a monocle. He did. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I the penguin. Yeah, yeah. You don't really see it much anymore. No, it, I would lose lacking. it all the time. And what held it in? Did you just have to kind you of had to close your eye kind of wink it. on it? Yeah. But that's impractical. And then what did it did it hook onto your lapel or something? And then you could have a chain on that would hang. Yeah. 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 Oh. Did everybody have the uh, high school and uh, not uh, necessarily, I, the, I think junior high school or elementary school librarian that had the glasses on a chain? Oh, oh, yeah. A lot of people have glasses this on is, a chain. That this can. is Henwood, yeah. Yeah, reader, readers. 
You know the chain? And the readers. Yeah. yeah. But, and then you thought, well, that's ridiculous until you needed them. Yeah. Uh, okay, like everything uh -huh. else. I feel like in our in my teens, the sunglass strap yes. was the big sure. hot item I, that I came on for those. like a year. I still have those. Of course you do. <laughs> in my car, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> mm. yeah, Why? Fun. What are you doing? Yeah, no, well, because, I, I, well, I use them when I fish, but they have because my well, because yeah. my you're doing something though. What's he doing? Because my pocket is taken up by uh, my phone. You see. Yes. I actually wrote a uh, believe it or not, I wrote a letter to a uh, shirt manufacturer the other day. I believe oh, it. I believe Here, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no or not. What? Uh, Your saying, pockets aren't big enough. I said, like, yeah. Why aren't no? Why are you making golf shirts and uh, Henleys and T-shirts without pockets? What, what are you, are you crazy? Have you heard that people are t carrying phones all the time now? But we don't carry them in our pockets. I know most people do not carry their heavy ass smartphone bag <laughs> right in their shirt <laughs> bag. <laughs> like, oh, I do. It looks insane. And, and it does. And it's it's well, you wear heavy duty shirts that can kind of. Yeah, because what doesn't it? Your breasts sag down. Yeah. If uh, someone I, I had their their <laughs> phone like that, I would assume they were recording me. Yeah, exactly. like it was like a, a secret. And, and, yeah. yeah. Like, nevertheless, I did take the time, and I got a letter back. Did you? What they say? <laughs> they Leave said, us alone. <laughs> <laughs> they they said the the only manufacturer of these shirts. Blah blah blah. It was very very. They were very nice, because they were these really cool shirts. They were like this. Uh, dyed uh, aged denim. They were very nice. Uh, but the larger point is I'd like to see more pockets. So if you're a shirt manufacturer out there, sew those on there, baby. But yeah, for my sunglasses, I have those uh, those. Do you straps. want to tell them your sunglass story? My latest ones? I had to hear about this on the trip. <laughs> oh, I had already heard it. Long drive. <laughs> Remember, you know what, uh, do you remember the skier Billy Kidd? I don't. No, <laughs> it's a shame. You know, he's an excellent skier. Uh, there was an era in the 70s when uh, they, they had, um, they, they were like plastic aviator, red, white, and blue, mirrored sunglasses. Oh. Super badass. Cops all wore them and moved. I found a place that makes those in Japan. Okay. I got a pair. They're awesome. Uh, God is my witness. I was watching a show the other, yesterday, and I tried to take a picture of it. One of the guys on the show was wearing those sunglasses. I couldn't believe yeah, they're it. they're terrific. And <laughs> um, the reason I need them is really pretentious, I think. What is the need? Uh, my car has this gizmo that shoots the, um, uh, uh, what is it called, the speedometer onto the windshield. Uh-huh. So you can, and then it tells you what the speed limit is. It's really cool. But if you have on uh, regular sunglasses, polarized, polarized mm -hmm. it, it doesn't show up. It's some ah. kind of magic trick. <laughs> so I had to get some unpolarized sunshades. So these are they're extraordinarily cool. And I uh, that's cool. You found them. Have a strap yeah. for them. Oh, they're awesome. Well, uh, now uh, coming up in the news, we have um, something incredibly disturbing involving a Hollywood actress. Yes. This is. I mean, this is really disturbing. How does it even? Who lets that out? Yeah, that's the other thing. If if I if I were doing this, yeah, you could waterboard me, and I would not admit it. Right. Hmm. Um, it's a, it, it involves some uh, deeply personal habits, and uh, also I think she's a billionaire, isn't she? Well, her uh, family is. She's. I think her father was, was the living, ri richest man in Hollywood. She was right? living in a in an RV park because she was homeless. Oh really? Okay. Oh yeah. Well, anyway, we'll find out about her. It's, it's quite interesting. All uh, right, now I want to talk to you about uh, great earbuds and great headphones. From those folks at Raycon, we've been talking about these for a long time. I am a huge fan. If you're going on a walk with your dogs and you want to maybe uh, listen to this show or listen to some great music or whatever you're into, pop in those Raycon Everyday Earbuds. They're about half the price of the really expensive ones that you keep they keep falling out of your ear. The Raycon Earbuds, uh, they have a whole bunch of stuff to make you even happier. First of all, they're half the price. Eight hours of playtime with your Raycon Earbuds. 32-hour battery life and of course they have those uh, adjustable gizmo thingies that um uh, will fit any ear what are those called again uh, gel tips gel tips well thank there you very you much go. yeah um uh th they uh, make a great mother's day gift how about that hey mom sure would be nice if you were maybe doing something else listening to that instead of talking to me um <laughs> a raycon earbuds maybe you give her a nice card instead of raycon earbuds what a great idea go you go to buyraycon.com slash tom that'll knock 20 percent off your raycon order plus free shipping that's right free shipping when's the last time you heard about that buyraycon.com slash tom 20 percent off and free shipping for some great 
earbuds. And don't forget about those great Raycon headphones. I keep telling you the same story. I got them for my girls, and when we travel, they're very quietly sitting in the back seat of the car. Enjoying their movies. Enjoying their movies or whatever and not bothering me. Not that it's a total bother, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm talking about, parents. You need, a, you need a mental break, for God's sake. you got to focus on the road. Uh, it's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Thank you very much. Coming up, drunk, naked, in a garbage can. We got it for you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Adopted, parents. adopted. Parents. Adopted. Parents. Parents. That's okay. right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm adopted. Okay. I was actually left in a basket on the, the stoop of a fire station. Hmm. And had uh-huh. I been a Dalmatian, they would have kept me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> damn your luck. Huh? Yeah, damn my luck. No. But I you lo- were, you were, you were, that's nice though. You were, you were adopted, and you're, you have a good relationship with your adopted. I love being adopted. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But people say things to me. I, I'm with my dad. A guy comes up to me and goes, you have your father's eyes. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't even have his address. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think he lives near a fire station. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's, it, I, I really I, I feel blessed to be adopted. Uh, but I'm curious about my culture, my heritage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I kind of think I'm a light-skinned black man. Uh, really? Ba- really? Based Very on light. What? Because I'm big. You uh-huh. know, yeah, oh, and, uh-huh. uh, oh, I got you. Okay. okay. Uh, banana. Uh, people, exactly. <laughs> banana, That's banana. why it's a fun word. <laughs> people ask, are you English, you're German, you're French? I don't know. I'm adopted. All I know about my culture is they give away their children. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Singer of ACDC. For those you never heard of him, it, he's like a pirate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Hey, we're going to have a good time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, matey, we're going to roast up Shaw and give him a nice concert for a good hour and a half. And he can like it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he goes. <laughs> he That's what it sounds like. He comes and he goes, uh, Jimmy Mizun, I'm somewhere in Europe, and someone said that there's a guy named Jimmy Brewer doing the hokey pokey. Because I challenge you to come up on stage with me at the show I'm doing. Oh, my God. Yeah, sounds amazing, right? Sounds amazing. Right. We're, we're at a club, and he's doing a benefit. Uh-huh. And so some of the guys from ACDC and Deep Purple and, and all this jazz. And Brian Johnson goes up on stage, and we rehearse for about an hour. He's like, okay, I'm going to go out, and I'm going to bring you out. And I'm like, are they going to like this? Oh, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. They're going to love it. Uh-huh. I said, okay. Uh, t- t- all right. Well, when do I know to go? Ah, the guy will come and he come and get you, and you'll be on the side of the stage. He come and get you. <laughs> all right. So I'm on the side of the stage, and I get engulfed in the show. Uh huh. Lights go down. The first song. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wow! They're playing "Shoot the Thrill." <laughs> get the plate. The floor is rocking. Next song. <laughs> Back in black. Wow. Chicks are now climbing men's shoulders. <laughs> I want a better view. <laughs> Third song. It's silent for like an hour, uh, for about three minutes, and then the the bongs of the bell. Bong. 
Bong, I played house bells. Place is ready to riot, and the guy comes and gets me, and he's like, All right, kid, get on the side of the stage. Hokey pokey right at the hell's bell. <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. He's like, yeah, no, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. Uh, so I'm literally watching them like, Satan coming to you. Hell's bad. <laughs> like, there's no way that puts your left foot in, your left foot yeah, out is going to go up. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Never the corpse. Never the corpse. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, 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 don't. Essential morning radio. Don't. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. Welcome back to Bob. Go, 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 sorry, go ahead. Thank you. I'm busy here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he usually does do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, uh, yeah. yeah. You're was doing your job. Excuse yeah. me, I've got something to do. No, no, that's why I was going <laughs> to. Well, as you can hear, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Chaos and mayhem per usual. Yeah. <laughs> got his pli- pliers out. Got your pliers What are you plying? Out. Um, the plastic lids to these oh, uh, things, you can't get them off. So I've, I've went and got a pair of needle nose. They're very handy. Highly recommend. Ah, for the Starbucks lid. If you squeeze the top. I'll be, I'm, I'm kind of with him on this. I won't go to, I don't resort to pliers, but <laughs> the, those lids are difficult. Yeah. It's, it's very handy. You have a hack, Christy? No, I, if you kind of squeeze the top. Yes, and then so then when you pull it, then the juice flows all over your counter or your. Why pants. don't you drink a little bit out of it so that it's not because it doesn't to the have top. sweetener into it, and it's <laughs> as you know poison until it does. <laughs> I think, every, I think you have that backwards. That. It's a tough uh, life. We get to witness Tom. Sw- Tom has a pound bag Ziploc that normally drug dealers put their pot in. Uh huh. Full of equal in his middle console. Oh, yeah. Oh, we witnessed right. that oh, yeah. on yes. our trip. Hey, look, you get to ride for free. I didn't even ask for gas money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't rat me out here. You guys didn't offer gas, ass, or grass, or whatever the hell? I had already gas uh, the car up. It wasn't a problem. <laughs> yeah, but how about ass? Uh, oh, I offered. <laughs> he passed. I Far, did not. <laughs> Far too hairy. Uh, Jeff's not yours. Oh. Yes. I was like say, I don't have hair Once again, butt. we, we uh, d- drove back from sure. beautiful West Virginia. It was a wonderful morning. ride. You did a very nice Thank job. Thank you very much. Uh, now, um, uh, uh, we do have a Chick McGee not sitting at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk this morning. All right. He's a little bit under the weather. He's we sitting hope to on see his him throne, again. apparently. Yeah, well, I didn't want to go into the details. And, <laughs> oh, is that what's happening? He has oh, a, a stomach guy. illness. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. I know he that, couldn't stomach coming in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we <laughs> if he has what I had a few weeks ago, he's uh, discovering the... Uh, the invention of propulsion. Okay, we didn't uh, need that much yeah. detail. The violent sluicing. <laughs> yes, if you want to know, want to know <laughs> what, uh, what propels a sea do, <laughs> it's the. Uh, coming up also, it'll be sexy time with Allie Breen. We certainly look forward to that. Uh, but at this point uh, in the program, we are going to turn to Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom news desk. Is there anything interesting out there? Oh, I thought Mr. Oske was going to do something. Oh, I got some news. I got some. What? I got a. I got a world <laughs> record. Yeah. Oh, okay. a, a nine-year-old girl. Wait, wait a second, Jeff. We got to get the music. Get the music. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, important the protocol. Oh. Let's see. Is this it? Nope. Nope. No. That's we'll Jeff's music. Jeff. Hang in okay. there. There you go. Uh, there you go. I'm on it. <laughs> a nine-year-old girl from India is going viral after deadlifting 165 pounds. That's uh, pretty good for how old? Nine. nine. Yeah, that's incredibly impressive, right? According to I don't know. I've got a eight-year-old. Her backpack weighs 210. <laughs> you know what? No kidding. <laughs> my son's too. Oh my gosh! My kids, ha- their backpacks are so destroyed. They're they are 90 percent duct tape. 
<laughs> and they, are they have so to heavy. carry clear backpacks now, a lot what? of the schools. Oh, okay. And so they're made out of the cheapest plastic uh. possible. So now it's about 12% clear plastic <laughs> and 88% duct tape. <laughs> Just no one carry uses the... lockers anymore, do they? No. They no, carry no. everything in their they backpack. Don't? No. no. Man, I loved having a locker. I did, too. My kids don't touch their lockers. My but they, they're given did. to them, and they're available. Right. They just don't have time. They have, like, six minutes between yeah. classes, and one class may be in one building and oh, the other yeah. in the other, and hey, they don't no, have you know, time. Six minutes to TikTok and, TikTok and vape. <laughs> yeah. You can't you really know. Yeah. spend time. Yeah. Let's come on. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. You said something interesting the other day. We were talking about that school. I, I forget. Was it in Texas that... That they, the the you know, everyone head. everyone had to students had to put their phones in those pouches. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. And who weren't Jackson yes, saying, and it's it's become a very positive. The kids love it because now they're like socializing and they're they didn't realize during oh, the breaks they can actually talk to one another instead of just staring at their phones. And apparently it's legit. It's not like adults just going, oh, the kids love it. Like the kids actually do love it. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I can see yeah. that too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I've actually started. I was reading this article. I I uh, do not have my phone out if I'm having a lunch. Yeah, that's nice. I put it, you know, elsewhere. Because if uh-huh. they, it's, this this was an article about how if mm-hmm. people see your phone sitting there, it's... They perceive you're not paying attention. They know you're, that's on your mind, uh. that it's going to go off at some point. Well, you eat lunch in three minutes, so you're in and out. I, you know, Pat, <laughs> I have things to do. I'm a busy man. I, I don't like to... my phone in my pocket, so I, but I, it's, as you can see now, yeah. it's face down. I always right. just have it face down and... I'm on lunch. And- I have learned this, Pat, about Tom uh, and having lunch with him. What he likes to do is sit down and he'll ask you a question like, how's Jimmy doing in school? And then as you're answering, he engulfs his entire meal before you can even take a bite of yours. And then sits there and goes, hey, whenever, no hurry. And then just sits with his arms crossed, waiting for you to finish your meal. Have you noticed that? Yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm I'm allowing him to uh, expound upon the interesting there, aspects of his life. And I, I I really don't. I'm not critical of Tom at lunch. I I kind of like eating fast and getting I out. I do too. Whatever. Yeah. But there was one time I believe Pat was it you and I. We were sitting. It was Tom's favorite restaurant, and we were all having lunch and kind of finishing up. And he said, "Oh, just a second. And uh, he got up. <laughs> And answered his phone and walked outside and was kind of pacing a little bit and then got in his car and left. <laughs> got up, took a phone call, and never came back. Yeah. The Irish exit. <laughs> we were like, man, that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure I'd already paid. I, yeah. yeah, you and you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, I, you guys get to eat lunch with him. I haven't had lunch in eight years with Tom. That was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. 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 <laughs> didn't we have a, didn't we go to the uh, place that has the, the cooking table? What's that called? The. Hibachi? hibachi. It's not, uh, it's not teppanyaki. There you go, teppanyaki. Yeah. It, it, it's sometimes incorrectly called a hibachi, right? That yes. was back during Spangle's first, first marriage. Yeah, yeah. That that's how so long, long ago, ago that was. Yeah. Wow, cool. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, remember, that's when you announced he was getting divorced and no one knew. Well, they know now. He's been remarried, for God's sake. It's about time they found out. Hope his wife and he knows has it. a kid. <laughs> now, I'm lo- nine- oh, go ahead. I'm looking at the photograph of this world record. Oh, the nine-year-old. Yes. She only lived little, once. N- little nine-year-old girl doing a deadlift. Uh, the post shows... Ashria uh, heaving the massive barbell, holding uh, holding it for a few seconds, then triumphantly dropping it to the ground. All right. It's gigantic. Two million likes. That's great for her. Uh, she, yeah. uh, wow. That's she didn't, amazing. like, cycle it ten times, though? She just did the one? You just got to do the one. <laughs> that's what, that's what the, Of course. Yeah, she doesn't have to do the and, and then there's the... Here we go. There's the clean and jerk, right? That's when you deadlift up over your okay. head. But is... Is the clean just up to the chest and the jerk the part where it gets up? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. And then what's the snatch? Well, uh, she's she's only nine. Careful. <laughs> All right. All right. Well. In other news. It, well, no, I'm, uh, so what is the snatch, technically? A lift, weightlifting. I don't know. I'm I think not a weightlifting. The first lift. That's that, the snatch? That initial snatch it up off the ground. Okay. And you can go all the way overhead. Too. You can have an overhead snatch. You can... Wow. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what, wasn't the overhead snatch that little guy yesterday that married the woman who was seven feet tall? <laughs> there you go. So, so there's a picture of this young lady. She looks like... I mean, it's amazing. She doesn't look um, bulky or unusually... Well, not, she's she just, nine. She just looks like a nice little girl having a nice time, but she's obviously extremely strong. Lifting all this weight, but I'm guessing she probably goes home and can't pick her clothes up off the floor. Right, mommy, I can't find I can't find my blue skirt. Either can I. It's a pile of clothing over there. I don't know what it is. I, some there must be some genetic anomaly. None of my children have ever been able to pick anything up. Yeah. <laughs> 
don't know what it is. Global. Global. Oh, yeah. in my so that, All that, kids are like that. <laughs> yep. Go uh, my Sophie's room right now is still. You walk in the room and you just go, okay. My room. The- I, I I don't know what happened to me, but now if you, it looks like I'm staying in a hotel and I know what I got up and made the bed. <laughs> okay, shut up. <laughs> that was more rhetorical. Josh, is your place? If I walked in there right now, are there any dirty dishes? Is the bed made? No, nope, no dirty dishes. The bed is not made. I make it when I get home. Uh, and you like to air it out, which y- is good. Yes. Yes. And um, uh, yeah, there's a very clean house. Nothing's- well, it's great. My husband yeah. makes the bed, does the dishes. You go home, the house is spotless. I, I do not like having any dirty dishes at my house. Oh, I time. never leave dishes in the sink ever. I think no. that's from living in New York. And if you left dirty dishes, you were greeted by a flea circus of cockroaches. (laughs) 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 The same thing in Deland. When I lived in Deland, Deland, in Florida, uh, we had the palmetto bugs. Those are gigantic. They're like gigantic cockroaches. And I didn't know when I first moved to Florida that that's what they were. So I thought I had some... You know, dinosaur-like cockroaches. Yeah, but they're really—they really give you the heebie-jeebies. Is that what's in that horrible lunch meat? No, that's pimento. Oh, (laughs) Uh, pimento. I've always hated that. (laughs) I've never tried it. Just it looks disgusting. Oh, like a nice, uh, yeah, yeah, olive oil. (laughs) Yeah, no thanks. Olive oil. So anyway, you can see a nice, uh, nice photograph of this young lady, um, Ashira. Wait a minute. Our, our, our. Arshia Goswami is her name. What a cool name. Anyway, she's uh, super strong. Just don't go Swami uh, 30 minutes uh, after you ate. <laughs> especially if you ate Indian food. <laughs> and especially oh. the Ganges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, now, just by, uh, uh, we were talking about uh, our elementary school librarians and wearing glasses on a chain. Anybody remember the name of theirs? I just remembered mine while well, thinking. I didn't I have yeah. a library in elementary ours. school. You didn't? No, I went to a small Catholic school. No. We didn't have a library. Our library was nine shelves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, just to, on top of each other, oh. like in, in a room. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. What a, uh, the, the cat in the hat finds Jesus. Was it all? Yeah. Was it all yeah. religious yeah. stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Do you have the golden compass? You're expelled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Missy, we, Missy's we have, Mrs. Leffler, I just remembered her name. Don't ask about Darwin. That's what I learned. Oh <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for Origin of the Species. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We had Sister Vic. She was our... Hey, I'm Sister Vic. Vic. Sister Victoria. Was that... I don't remember oh, okay, that was her real name, Victoria. You're laying it taken. Gee, yeah. Sister Vic. <laughs> I have a question. Sister Vic. I, I don't know the answer to this. I, in that religious order, if your name is... If your name when you're born would say, is, say, Christy Lee, do you become Sister Christy or do you have to pick a new name? You pick a saint name. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, mm-hmm. Sister Mary. Yeah. Do, you, do you get yeah. to pick or are you assigned yes. one? You oh, get really? to pick, I think, yeah. Well, that's kind of fun. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I believe you get kind to of pick a nice your option. same name. Yeah. You now, in the unlikely event that we all became nuns, <laughs> Ace, have you thought of a, a nun name for yourself? Uh, uh, Sister Anne. Sister Anne. Okay. Oh, really? That's, 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 that's pretty nice. It's interesting. Be Sister Christian. Not sure what it says. <laughs> Good job, Matt. Sister <laughs> Christian. Sister Christian. Rocker. One of the finest yes. songs with the worst lyrics ever written. <laughs> um, Who uh, sang that? Night uh, Ranger. Yeah, Night Ranger. Oh, Good man. band, but that's such a stupid song. That Mot- was like the motoring? peak of my like eighth grade dance. Oh, is it? Was that song was like, and you didn't know you can't it dance started off that. slow, like, and yeah, then you like, can't really yeah. do it. would be do like, it. oh, let's uh, slow dance, and then next thing you know, you're yeah. kind of boogie into <laughs> yeah. it. And you go to a slow yeah, dance. You're again. motoring. You're, yeah. yeah. Well, there's something cool about that song. Uh, yeah. 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 So what did you, what would your name be if you became a nun? Joe? Uh, I would take my favorite nun. I'd, I'd go Sister Marie Grace. Oh, that's nice. That was oh, that's my, a beautiful that name. That was my favorite nun growing up. Okay, so. good, good. Mm. Christy, have you thought Boy, about this I have much? never... Um, probably Sister Rose. Ooh. Okay. Well, or something. Sister Rose, more like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, sister, sister Jack Daniels. <laughs> Josh? I think Jack Daniels was a saint, but I'll double check. Just Is think with a, a musician. I, a sister Hazel. I oh, that's good. Do that. I don't or, know. Is there a Saint Hazel? Sister Saint Hazel. <laughs> well, if you're, if you're going to take that route, you could go Sister Ray. Any Velvet Underground fans? No. Sister Ray. Get a big zero there. Yeah. Sister Ray. Just like Sister Ray says, a great song from Lou Reed. Uh, Pat Godwin, Gee, uh, you were uh, raised with around surrounded by yeah, nuns. Yeah, I got thrown out in the third grade from Catholic school. I'll go with. Who was the meanest nun? Sister Mary Cunningham. Whoa! Okay, yeah, yeah. Wait a oh, I mean, none I can't imagine sister. there were any nicknames for her. <laughs> That's why I got thrown out. Yeah. <laughs> Mine was Sister Rosaire, and she had green teeth. I'll never forget her as oh. long as I live. 
And I had her two, wow. two years in right a in row. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. mine had hair great. in the face, the chin. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, God bless him. What about you, Tom? You have a non name? Um, I hadn't really thought about it. It's kind of a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> We're all fools for answering, aren't we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> our, uh, our sixth grade year, we had a new nun start named Sister Patty, and she was like, let's say, 23, 24. Oh. And she was the first nun I ever saw without a habit mm -hmm. and wearing jeans. Oh, oh my gosh. She wore jeans uh, to church or after church mm -hmm. to like donuts or whatever right. after church. The talk of the church for eight, for for months. Really? Oh, we don't know about that new nun wearing the jeans. Oh, oh boy, getting a little edgy. Got the tongues wagging. Huh? Oh yeah, I Sister Jordash. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Jordash is very nice. A lot of nuns now don't wear habits. It's very hard to tell. They wear like a cardigan and a skirt yeah. or something. They don't wear the, uh, uh, the black. The, and when I was oh, in no. school, like really? first or second grade, they had the long habits, the you know ones you yeah, see in the movies, and then they went to the shorter. Like mid length skirts where oh, you can yeah. see ankles. At this, oh. at, this, at this base, the mini will be next. Yeah. <laughs> the mini. Anything to get nuns back into the. Hey, I can just guess. see the, 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 the movie Bikini Nun on Netflix tonight. <laughs> I would watch uh, that. Well, is it light? Is that? attendance light for a nun? Not many yeah, nuns not anymore. very many women go into the convent. Oh. Well, or priesthood. We've, you know, there's well, now, there's a need. You could pray for that if you'd like. Uh, <laughs> once again, our, our world record was a young lady from India. Uh, oh, I got baseball news, Tom. Oh, cool. I got uh, uh, the new Major League Baseball uniforms are under scrutiny again after a player tore through his pants sliding into home plate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we'll get to that story in just a second. That was All only right. a matter of time, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there have been a lot of criticism about those new uniforms. Um, once again, nine-year-old Arshia Gaswami uh, from, oh boy, this is hard, Haryana Panchkula. Oh, you missed all that part, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I just skipped it. Yeah, uh, in India. So, uh, and she, she lifted, what does it say here? 75 kilograms, which is uh, 165 pounds. And, yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, while doing it, by the way, she was spelling difficult words in English just to <laughs> add Show off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, add to the confusion. Uh, right now, I want to say hi to my buddy, Steven Singer. Steven Singer Jewelers. He's a dog guy. They got their great dog buddy. In fact, if you're looking to see Buddy, you can find him on the Steven Singer website. Of course you can. While you're there, of course, you might want to say, wait a minute, Mother's Day is just around the corner. What could I do that would be really easy for me and really have a great payoff for all those great moms in my life? Well, how about something from Steven Singer Jewelers? Because Steven Singer is famous, of course, for his amazing guarantee. you got to be happy. And uh, free shipping. And right now, of course, it's another rose, the 24-karat gold-dipped rose from Steven Singer Jewelers. This time it's called Red Wine. Obviously, it's going to be a, a rose dipped in real 24 karat gold, and the color is that of a, uh, a deep burgundy. And it'll go perfectly, of course, with a glass of wine for that mom in your life. Mm -hmm. See what I'm talking about by visiting IHateStevenSinger.com. Steven Singer, of course, has all kinds of... Are you looking at that bracelet? I wore my At Last bracelet today. I love this bracelet. Oh, you nice. can pick that up on that's Steven a, Singer's that's a, that's website. A, that's a great thing. And yeah, once beautiful. again, free shipping from Steven Singer. IHateStevenSinger.com, the luxurious red wine, 24-karat gold-dipped rose, starting at just $69.95. You can check out, by the way, all of the roses and the various colors that they're available in. And they're all dipped in 24-karat gold. People collect them. And it makes a very nice gift. Of course, it comes in a beautiful box with a personalized message from you. So it's a really simple way to get something done for Mother's Day. Think about all those great moms in your life that have been helping you get through all this stuff that you've been going through. I hate stevensinger.com. Get that done. Tell them the Bob and Tom show sent you. Coming up, once again, we got a drunk guy. He's drunk naked in a garbage can. Hey, happy Tuesday. Uh, and we'll also find out about another flight diverted and a uh, post, oh, i got to think of the word, I just invented the word, post ecliptic is that close enough? Ecliptic. post ecliptic uh, news story. Yes. And it's the, in, the, in the category, I told you so. Mm -hmm. Coming up, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. 
The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. And our guests are Mark Marin and, uh, and Rebecca Corey. Now, Rebecca, you mentioned that you travel Mm-hmm. With uh, you travel with your dog, I do, mm-hmm. and you're yep. serious. You know? What yeah. kind of dog is it? I have a 64 pound pit bull, a mm-hmm. blue nose pit bull. Oh. Her name it, is Angel, mm-hmm. and she was. Uh, you showed a picture a, us to us during the break. A picture of your dog sitting in the on the airplane, looking out the window. Yep, she was sitting in a seat next to me, looking out the window, thinking, "Whoa." And this is and this is a uh, what do you call it a service dog? A uh, therapy dog. Yep. Therapy dog. What does yeah. that mean? Uh, it means you just give up the Xanax and wine, and you go to a little being that makes you calm when you fly. I got an issue with flying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you That's... couldn't. No, so you're a cat person. You couldn't do that with cats because first of all, you know, cats <laughs> well, are so cats, cats, they're, they're so highfalutin. Yeah. Would yeah. Not. Oh, you mean you have cats to earn the out. love of a cat, and that somehow makes it. No, less. the cat would all look right, at you, you and go. Take your... Put, you put a cat on a plane, see what happens. I, I you know, I, I traveled. I traveled with LaFonda. Oh, did you? And how'd it go? Was LaFonda in a cage? Well, let me understand. You gotta understand. I'm the surprised cats- LaFonda would fly coach. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> Was she willing to? Uh- LaFonda. My cats were feral, so they're they're wild animals. Right. Now I had never traveled with this cat before, and and I be, it was crazy mm-hmm. because. They they were when I uh, first got them they were you know I, they were already wild mm-hmm. and they were only a few months old but they were wild so sure. in order to take Lafonda to, to Los Angeles it took me two hours to get her into the cage mm-hmm. I nice. had to wear leather gloves yeah. she st- my my hands were still bleeding I'll okay bet. I get her into the cage I get to JFK and I'm exhausted. And I'm aggravated. Mm-hmm. And I put the cat on the, the, the conveyor. Mm-hmm. And the TSA guy goes, oh, you're going to have to take the cat out of the cage no. and, and walk it through. Oh, and yeah? I'm, and I, yeah? And I'm like, are you kidding? I became crazy cat lady. See there my is hands? No way. Yeah, look at my hands. <laughs> and I made the biggest deal. I was like, there's no way this cat's getting out of that cage. And he's like, then you're not getting on the plane. Okay. And by this point, I'd frightened everyone around. Mm-hmm. I was crazy. And, and it would have been, they would have been less freaked out if I'd had a bomb. I mean, <laughs> I died. Took this little cat out of the cage, and they're like, "Step back, everyone back!" And Lafonda was just freaked out. I'll bet. And I walked her through, and all she wanted to do was to get back into the box. But my biggest fear was that the cat's going to get away, and, and I'm going to be like in some You're chasing not, her down. Yeah, and, and I'm in a children's film. It's yeah. just a montage of me on the baggage claim, <laughs> you know, and then it ends well, running nice through kitchens, kitchens it down. It ends gateway. with you in a federal facility yeah. being sodomized. Yeah. Yeah. more enjoyable. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Is that the sodomized bell? Yeah, the sodomized bell. There it is. What's nice about Bringing Angel on yeah. is bully breeds are really gassy in general. If you know anything. Oh, they're very gassy. And there's no hair there to muffle. Yeah, you know the smell and the sound. And so sometimes on the on the plane, she will just let, let it one out. let it rip. Yeah, and it's real nice. Do you, you know, uh, look around and say excuse me, or do you just point at the guy I, in front of you? I just <laughs> I just laugh because it's so unbearable. Uh huh. But now there's someone because normally you've been asleep on an airplane with your mouth open and been woken from a dead sleep. <laughs> Because you thought someone crapped on your face. Because, you know what I mean? Yes. And now that I have a bully breed, yeah. I just go, well, there it is, everybody. Yeah. Take that. Uh-huh. Take that. You, go. you need to give your dog Beano before you fly. What's that? I need to give What's me Beano same before thing I fly. You, yeah, it's the Anti, same stuff uh, you put on your food. And it, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, prevents gas. Isn't there something really? magic on planes okay. that just, you know, uh, that <laughs> gas just evaporates? I always thought there it was a magic. magic to it. Well, it doesn't. It actually makes it all the way to the back. Yeah, it does. It makes it to that sleeping person with their mouth open. Are you the guy that just Are you the guy you the guy that, uh, are, you, are you the guy that pulls the SBD that reaches up and turns off that fan thing? <laughs> it, 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 I just think it, 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 it works its way the entire length of the plane. Yeah, Hi, this is Chick McGee from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcast. The Bob and Tom Show on air, on app, and on demand. <laughs> that concludes another exciting episode. Uh, Murray, Murray Whiskey. Murray Whiskey. <laughs> Frontier, Frontier pyromaniac idiot. over here. What are you, you're lighting up the studio? Yeah, Bob? this thing, it's not working. I'm sorry. Nothing. Uh, just... Brought to you by that new 
Japanese Jewish restaurant. So sue me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Maria. Hey, it's comedian Roy Wood Jr. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Mike Verbigley is our guest. Uh -huh. he, he took me to see a urologist. Now, I didn't know at the time. I was very naive. I didn't know what urologists do, you know, with the prostate exams and all that kind of stuff. Chick, you know that. Oh, prostate exams. They get right up in there and look around. And how, many, how many you got scheduled for today? <laughs> Before lunch? <laughs> Just two. So so the doctor, and it's a friend of my dad's, which makes it even, even worse. worse sure. I had golfed with this guy. Mm -hmm. And he says, put, put your hands on the table. Oh. And I was like, all right, I can put my hands on the table. And then he stuck his finger. Hey, yeah, hey, we hey, are. Man. <laughs> And I didn't know it was going to happen, and I shouted. I go, oh, my God! <laughs> and he got, he got mad at me. He was like, cut the theatrics. <laughs> and I felt so bad. I was like, sorry about the theatrics. I don't know. I like, as though I had intended it. Like, yeah. this will be my big moment. <laughs> when he sticks his finger yeah. up my ass, I'll prove I should be the star of our town. <laughs> and I can't stand the endorsement to come after that because everybody's going to have their own shoe and selling shoes and telling these kids to buy shoes because honestly I don't care what kind of shoe an athlete wears and neither should you my question is what kind of shoe does a black surgeon or lawyer wear yeah. <laughs> what is Johnny Cochran wearing that should be the commercial uh -huh. when you can get a brother off a double homicide the whole world knows he's guilty of uh -huh. that's a bad shoe <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night this is Bob and World of Comedy. It's on the way. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. Well, Jeff Oskey sitting in for Chick McGee. You know where he's sitting, don't you? I sure do. You do know where he's sitting? <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask you because I didn't know. Uh, Pat, do you know where he's sitting? No idea. At the Orange Insoles Sports Desk. Uh, Ooh, yes. Thanks. There you go. He's sitting at the orangeinsoles.com chair at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. If you were sitting in the desk, it would be very awkward. Correct. Uh, thank you very no, much. I mean, that's what people <sighs> say, right? They're sitting at their desks. Yes, <laughs> of course. Uh, now, uh, Josh is sitting at the Steven Singer sidekick chair. Notice the I hate Steven Singer. Dot com sidekick chair. Sure. And then Christy's just sitting there quietly just wishing she here. were asleep. Yeah. No, uh, I'm not. I'm I'm ready to go. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Oske is sitting in at the sports desk uh, for orange insoles. What do you got? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a major well -oiled league machine right here. Major league baseball uniforms are under scrutiny again after a player tore through his pants while sliding into home plate. Detroit Tigers outfielder Riley Green split open his pants along the seam after completing a standard slide into home plate during Tuesday's game against the Pittsburgh Pirates. The large chair left a massive gap on the outer thigh portion of Green's pants, revealing his compression shorts underneath. <laughs> yeah. Thank God he was wearing them. Yeah. <laughs> it's the latest incident involving the league's new uniform, which have previously received complaints for being almost completely see-through. This has been a big deal. Yeah, it has. The players don't, well, what are the players saying besides the rips? The they, they were apparently not very happy about it. Okay. And I guess they're going to have someone else manufacture them besides Boeing. Uh, <laughs> That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it was. I figured it was who's ever manufacturing children's jeans now. Oh, because really? have you not seen every <laughs> pair of jeans has like nine holes in them oh, now? Oh, yeah. Upon they purchase, like or yeah, okay, upon yeah. Per oh, they ain't working in them. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the yeah, the, the pre-ripped. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Looks like they got right. into a fight with a Wolverine before they went out. Yeah, yeah. Well, that does say something about the <laughs> diminishing value of contemporary culture. If well, we're you actually... guys sound like that is old a, that is an old on. man complaining. Wow. Oh, yes, Why but then you're you you're, you're, you're buying jeans? you're buying ripped pants that are ripped on purpose They're to pretend cute. you. This is like when you were. In junior high football, never got into the game, and you'd muddy up your pants, so when you walked in, it wasn't too embarrassing that everyone else was all dirty. Oh, that was a thing? <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. What? what? Well, we know who rode the bench. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you Pat, now tell, tell me more about this. How does it, no, yeah, what? you'd be out there and say anything you want. If you didn't get put into the game, everyone else is covered in mud and... They look, oh. they look like one of those classic photographs of Newt Rockney bleeding, <laughs> you know, a tooth hanging from his zipper. <laughs> and he'd be tufted out, and then you're there in your stellar clean uniform. Uh, no, no, no good. Uh, so, yeah, pre pre ripped jeans. No, thank you. But, um, so uh, yeah, there've been a lot of complaints about these uniforms. Yeah, yeah we we saw some 
rather unfortunate photographs earlier in the season. And they look cheap. That's the other Yeah, thing. they do. So, Pat, do you have a song? Yeah, they're see-through uniforms, the pants. There, really? So, uh, I can see clearly now your pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> I can see clear through to your batting balls. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Gone are the uniforms that hid your stuff. I can see the catcher has the batter's junk in his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see through your pants up on the mound. I can see a hairy ass swinging at home play. Oh, oh, oh. I can tell what religion the shortstop is. <laughs> I can tell you right now. Right now. Now there's a huge dick on first base. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the see-through pants. I forget the name of the company, aren't they? Um, uh, I don't know. It says, oh, here it goes. Nike Design Fanatics is the company that manufactured the pants. Huh. Um, and uh, the, the complaint from the Players Association is that the pants are see through. They wanted them lighter and more breathable, so you can see why they went this direction, but they went a little too far. It seems. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I heard it. I was listening to one of the games, and the guy said uh, the batter was uh, 6'5, 250 pounds, and uh, 3.6 inches flaccid. Wow. You know how those baseball guys, they just love the stats. And then the color guy, you know, he goes, uh, well, uh, I tell you what, the, 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 the guy doing the color broadcast always sure. wants to have some in, unusual stat. And you know, <laughs> yes. I'll tell you what, you talk about <laughs> you talk about foul balls. You see, is there? Uh, so thank you, Pat. Good, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, we return to the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. Uh, farmers in Cambodia are gearing up for the Lunar New Year with ox cart races. Oh, Ooh. this is so boring. Even ESPN won't do it. Uh, <laughs> even on the ocean. Uh, 50 <laughs> pairs of oxen took part in the annual cart races in Ramadulo Village. <laughs> That's not even close to how it's pronounced. In uh, Kampong Spoo <laughs> Providence. All right. The uh, centuries-old tradition marks the beginning of the new year, which locals celebrate from April 13th to the 16th. The event also signifies the end of the rice harvest. Oh. Okay. You have to, you have to wonder how they're... People hanging around watching these ox races with cell phones and photographing them. and Maybe they're cool. Yeah. yeah. I'd race an ox. Would you? <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. All right. Well, you're not riding on them. You're you in the are. Cart. Yeah, you, they're, they're, they're... yeah, like a chariot, yeah. right? An we, ox cart. Do you ride on it? I'm well, sure, that, yeah. Like, on like, like a chapel race? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't. I you thought don't they... ride on the ox. Well, I knew that. I'd, I didn't realize you well, were in they... the cart. Well, how do you think they you were You just thought it was them? oxes pulling carts? Why, yeah, watching yeah, them? I'm trying to find this. Like a tractor pull? <laughs> it's it's surprising. Um, they have a pretty good crowd for this thing. Well, well what well, else is there to do in Cambodia? Yeah. Yeah. The, the rice well, harvest yeah. is over. <laughs> yeah, you're done for yeah, the well, year. I, I could go collect bones in the killing fields. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you know, thanks, that, Jeff. That's fun making it. You don't want to go for a hike. You never know. <laughs> Some errant... Bouncing Betty. Uh, it it <laughs> looks like what are they, are they called? Um, is it called a sulky or a silky? What's the thing with the? Uh, oh, that the behind the little. Yeah, behind the horse racing. Yes, thing. the horse racing carts. That's what this looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except sure. they're um, although they're not going that fast. <laughs> no, no oxes. Well, there's, ox. there's a there's a, a human being running right next to the thing. <laughs> Oh, so there's nobody in the cart. Yeah, and there's a guy in the back of it. Okay. Yeah, oxen aren't super fast, right? Yeah, no, but I wouldn't no, think no, so. Then that, once they get to, once they get to a gallop, it looks like the the guy can't keep up with them. So, uh, it looks um, kind of sad, really. They just look like cows. <laughs> Actually, that just looks sad. They've got an aerial view. There may be 300 people there. Hmm. Well, sure. Yeah, everyone well, from the village. You come out. You race an ox. <laughs> okay. Heck yeah. You have some centuries old candy. tradition. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, I mean, I think they had to take a few years off in the '60s and '70s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I guess. There they <laughs> yeah. 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 I, you know, I always, uh, whenever I have to go to the toilet, uh, 
I'm sitting around with a bunch of people. Go, hey, excuse me, I've got to go race my ox. <laughs> <That's kind> of, <laughs> instead of instead of the usual, I like that. <laughs> see a man about a dog, uh -huh. see a man about a horse. You know the classics. What do ladies say? Do you have a phrase like that, Christy? No, we don't. Sure, you. Do. you ever no, heard we that? don't. I'm gonna go powder my nose. I would yeah. in the old right, the old yeah. days, or apply my lipstick. Do you give a full description of what's about to happen? I know. Absolutely hey, excuse not. Excuse me, i got to drop the kids at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I always just say, I need to be excused. and I, uh, I've been to lunch with you. It was pretty gross when you announced, I'm going to go take a steamy, hissing pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andy, I got to dump. I'll be right back. What a okay. mean appetite. Uh, right. no. uh, coming up, we have a uh, stormtrooper arrested, uh, and we have the drunk naked guy in a garbage can. A happy Tuesday. <gasps> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Hey, Bob and Tom, this is the Static Shack. This is a real recording studio. All this stuff is paid for, and this is basically where bands come in, record their tapes, so that they can play their tapes on the radio and stuff. I could have had a recording studio. It's nice, too, but I've got a boat instead. And my band's coming here. What? Can I get some help, man? Dusty, I'm the lead singer. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of busy, plus I'm taking my break now. If, if you need help, I'll get a girl to join the band. Basically, you have to have an audition couch in a studio. It's state law. That way, anybody that comes in knows that they're trying out, knows it's going to be a fair chance. I'm basically auditioning backup singers right now. Just call my pager. Pretty sure we can make it happen. I swear to God, we can. This is my favorite part of the recording studio. Not every band has this. We got Goge Sloggers. Look at that Goge Sloggers. We got Funyuns and we got Jaggers. It's the lead singer salad bar. I love Goge Sloggers. Goge Sloggers is basically the only liquor invented that looks like it has goldfish turds floating around. But the fact remains, that's 14 karat goad. When you drink all of this, you can crap a promise ring. Bob and Tom, this is called the Control Panel Console Operation Board. I probably know more about this stuff than anybody I know of. Me and Angel Skinner did it on here once. I swear to God we did. We had to stop, though, because her butt kept getting feedback. <laughs> Pizza barn have no idea. Let's get get this hard. Eighty dollar tab, try to split it four ways. But that don't work when the drummer never pays. Scotty got the pizza boner, bought the beer. Then our waitress says, Are we finished here? Let me put the tip in, cause you're so hot. Let me put the tip in, I swear to God. Let me put the tip in, I love your hair. Let the tip, man. It's only fair. I swear to God, I'm the best tipper. I lay it right here on the table to grab it. Long, dark hair hanging down her back. I asked for days, causing a pork attack. So fire ass hot, she should be on stage. A meat lover's dream, making me my way. Let me put the tip, man. Come over here. Let me put the tip, man. Your beer. Let me put the tip in. I swear to God, let me put the tip in. Check out this one. Hey, that's only 10%, baby. Look, you want to see a little more? There's 20% right here, face. I swear to God, you have to accept my tip. It's state law. Oh, and I know how to set the mood, baby. How about a guitar solo? No, not the whole thing. Just the tip. Scotty Winkler! <laughs> Let me put the tip in, I swear to God. Let me put the tip in, give me the nod. Let me put the tip in, try your card. Let me put the tip in, of the salad bar. Let me put the tip in, baby. You'll always come out ahead. I swear to God you will. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. Oh, hey, 
Josh, what's wrong? And my back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See All you right. later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. on you realize it's not your girlfriend it's just a woman on a bus <laughs> that's how you know you're too high uh, we're speaking with comedian jim gaffigan what else is uh your love what's what are you into do you have hobbies I, I, do you, are you, my, do you my, like weird food you're a drug addict anything I, cool uh, to talk about oh i i love food food okay. is my are you a drug, a drug addict, addict. <laughs> i'm very pale but not a drug addict <laughs> i'd like I, to be a drug addict i for a little love while. food mm -hmm. i even enjoy watching people make food but you, you ever notice the food network is far more interesting when you're hungry you know, when you're full, you're kind of like, this is stupid. <laughs> but when you're hungry, the food networks are like porn. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whip yeah. it up, baby. Make it for me. I love eating late at night, too. You know, you're not supposed to eat late at night. And mm -hmm. Then again, you're not supposed to drink booze in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy, guess, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the Internet. Bob and Tom 24-7. Souls.com. Jeffrey, what else you got? Uh, new research reveals that a simple pat on the back can help players score in basketball. Huh. An international team of scientists analyzed hundreds of women's college basketball games and discovered that when a player missed the first free throw, the number of players who gave her a pat on the shoulder or back predicted the success of her second shot. What? However... Pats and high fives did not appear to have an effect uh, if players made their first free throw. Because their confidence was already up. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if they do this for men, too. They should. Uh, researchers believe that a touch on the shoulder from a teammate is a powerful nonverbal signal of support, encouragement, and solidarity. In spite of failure, the findings were published in the Journal of uh, Psychology of Sport and Exercise. That's, that's really fascinating. That is fascinating. That's I understand. Work around. Yeah, yeah, uh, a pat on the ass uh, works for a three-pointer. Oh, how about that? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a lie, but it, that really is interesting. I wonder if, it, and I do wonder if it if applies to men's basketball as well. Probably. People are people. I mean, that's, yeah, support. Just suppose it would work on one of Ace's jokes. Uh, maybe like, we like should if try he, it. If he does one that... Wait, then we run over there and pat him on the back and do, have yeah, him do yeah, another? Yeah, if he does one that doesn't exactly land, you know... Oh. The, so if he does one... I think a men's ball is more of a dap or a... Uh, okay. Yeah, well, but anything, yeah, yeah, any kind of physical contact should... should walk do. over, high five after one of the weaker ones and then... Perhaps hope that a better joke comes up. Well, uh, if I ever do a weak joke. Yeah, okay. Well, if you ever do a weak yeah. joke. I wish you would do you a weak yeah. joke as yeah. in day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, well, here we go. Well. Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. What does a, uh, a baby computer call his father? Hmm. Uh, what does a baby computer call his father? Dada. Dada. 
That was a comedy joke of the day. Oh. Mm. I was just thinking yeah. Mac Daddy. Oh, Dad, uh, well, Mac Daddy would be good. If, unless you're a PC. Yeah, person. there's Jeff giving him a fist bump. Okay, there you go. Do you say, da do you say data or data? I say data. Oh, that's interesting. Well, let me look at the data here. Yeah, data. Yeah. Now, yeah, now we have to see if the next one is better. Yeah. Since we just gave him we some gave encouragement. Him. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I wonder how long, I mean, right oh, now. Right now. It's, it's, right now. Yeah. it's, it's, it's like a free throw. Right back to back. Of the day. I was just watching a documentary about uh, beavers. Oh, mm. <laughs> best damn show I've seen in a while. Mm. <laughs> it didn't help. It did not help. A little better so. though. I thought a little better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought that was I thought a little better. I, I, I like personally. enjoyed that very much. Better. All right, oh, okay. I see that coming. Uh, once again, uh, this is a fascinating study. A is a pat on the shoulder after a missed free throw means the next one's more likely to go in if. Wow. It's all about morale and support. Yeah. That may work, like, for your wingman out of the bar. You know, your first girl, you Absolutely. get shot down, he comes oh, yeah. up, you got this next Dude, one, buddy. For sure, I think. Pat on the back, sends you back in. See, this this, this concept <laughs> of support and morale is so foreign to us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. You mean, you mean in, in this room, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's called encouragement. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'll you're lament. not. <laughs> okay, well, I, I feel responsible. Uh, okay, well, let's, uh, is that, is that, does that complete our great sports program? That is sports. Okay, well, since Christy not, not here, we'll have to just segue oh. over to Christy Lee at the news desk. Tom, did you see there's a new version of Scrabble out there? I did not. Yep. Apparently, Scrabble is getting a makeover. Mattel has unveiled a double-sided board that features both the classic word-building game and Scrabble Together, a new rendition designed to be accessible for anyone who finds word games intimidating. The new version is available in Europe right now, should be in the United States soon, and marks the first significant change to Scrabble's board in more than 75 years. What what makes it different? It makes it... It sounds to me like maybe you can play with your kids. Yes. If it's called Scrabble yes. Together. Yes, it does. It makes it more of a family thing. I was like, why would they game? just call it Scrabble for morons? And then, oh, <laughs> they're probably trying to be, it's a family thing. Yeah. It's team-based and faster game play, according to the Scrabble Together people. Huh. Yeah. So... Okay, well, I'm a fan. I know you are. That's why I thought maybe... What's he going to like the traditional Scrabble board? Well, the, you still have Scrabble on one side, and then the other side you flip over. We do get... we do modify the rules just slightly. For the free... Gets a if, racy, if, right? if you use a word that you cannot use on radio or television, Ooh, it's an cool? automatic double word score. So, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, it's... Then, then, you know, what words can you use? It gets a little problematic, but... Uh, it's it's uh, determined by the folks at the table. Scrabble so. together includes helper cards, uses a simpler scoring system, and allows people to play in teams. This should go better than Scrabble's latest uh, rendition of their game, uh, Scrabble Ethnic Slurs. <laughs> that, was, that, was see, that was a bust. That was a bust. Yeah, we it didn't sell many. Wow. It's well. funny because those those uh, <laughs> those Venn diagrams actually cross. Some of the words you can't use on TV are also ethnic oh, slurs. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you could get a you could get a, like uh, a double whatever. Yeah, you know, <laughs> sure. Double word score. Yeah, yeah, so I'm using this blank as an S. Uh, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's fun. I'm a big fan of Scrabble, and of yeah. course, and it's uh, the the new uh, variation on that is Wordle. Of course. The big water water cooler talk game. I know a bunch three. of three. I got three. I haven't exist. done it yet today. I'm, I'm on a. I, I got real streak. lucky. I, no, I mean I'm on a long streak, but I almost lost my streak two days in a row. It took me six. Oh, six. Mm. Yeah. Um, but uh, so far, so good. Fingers are crossed. Brain exercises are important. That's good. Yes. No, uh, it's fun. Who else does Wordle? Um, just me and you in this room? I Chick do it. does it. You, you do it now, Pat? I do it with Paula when she asks me to. Oh, you do oh. it together? <laughs> yeah, we, we talk about it sometimes. You do it together. No, yeah. after, if, if she doesn't get it, do you pat her on the back and say maybe next time? For encouragement, I do indeed. Okay, yeah. so do we've learned something today. You ever honk her boobs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean for encouragement. I just mean, do you ever do that? Yes. Yes. I have, yeah. <laughs> hey, do you ever do the thing where you're trying to dial in Tokyo? They love that. Her dad is listening. <laughs> oh, oh. I thought he had a sure. whole song oh, sorry. about that. Do you ever honk? I know, okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we'll just move forward here. Um, uh, coming up, by the way, a surprise announcement about another special Bob and Tom show, a uh, live comedy show slash broadcast. I'll give you some details on that in the next couple of what days. What if we just turn the, let's just take this whole thing on the road. 
Which every is, day? Every day. Let's burn this yeah. place down Getting and a just bus. hop in a camper. <laughs> like Willie Nelson. Every morning, you don't know where we're going to be. <laughs> just show up. Would you shut your dirty mouth? <laughs> yeah. I don't give anybody any ideas. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm still trying to recover from last week. Passengers aboard the... Oh, we're going to ecliptic news, by the way. Ah. Passengers aboard the special Delta Airlines flight for the eclipse... We're barely able to see totality. I was oh. worried about that. I didn't was we? Too. Yes. Didn't we call this? Yep. The flight aimed to make special maneuvers along the route from Dallas to Detroit to allow everyone on board the ability to witness totality from the sky. Wow. However, the Washington <laughs> yeah. Post reports the reality did not quite live up to expectations. You know why? Because the sun's up there. Yeah. Not to the side. <laughs> the angle of the sun made it difficult for passengers to see. According to Martha Donna Strong of the Atlanta Journal Constitution, who was on the Dallas Detroit flight, some passengers got a better view than others, and air dropped their pictures throughout the cabin. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. We Boy. paid we paid a thousand bucks for this. Mm -hmm. Now this they, wasn't just a regular flight. This was a flight for this. Yes. Yeah, they yeah, that, just they what sold were you tickets. Mm -hmm. oh. But when this happened, I said, What so what if you're on the wrong side of the plane? Yeah. But yeah. Where, where I was watching the eclipse, it would be it was I was looking High sort of south, directly southwest, and it was way up, like it not quite like straight up, but pretty. Yeah, it pretty would, much. Yeah. Yeah. If you were yes. on an airplane, yeah. unless the plane took a ninety degree turn, <laughs> you're not gonna. You're just you're gonna see nothing. This did sound like the worst way to see it. Yeah, many passengers, however, Josh, were still happy. All with right. the unique experience. Well, those are the people that sat where the door fell off. They got to see the moon <laughs> and they shadow. Could see, they could see right out. <laughs> Chase after the plane in the sky. So. Oh, well, that, that might have been an interesting yeah. thing for some, but boy. no, no, no. What she just said would have been. Yeah. No, you know, you're supposed to see the eclipse. You want to be? They did, and they got to see the moon shadow. <laughs> I'm being followed, followed by a moon shadow. shadow. <laughs> moon shadow, moon shadow. Um, That's a great song. I I don't know. It is a song. When we heard this, <laughs> we, we were all saying we were all saying it was a stupid idea, but uh, I don't know. Well, that's a bummer that some people. Spent uh, money but what were you out. thinking? It's not well, like it's not, not like they were the sold a bill of goods. It's not like the airplane has a bubble top, right? But couldn't he? Couldn't the pilot have turned for two minutes the other direction to sh let the people on the other side of the plane see? I think they would have to turn and tilt, right? Yeah. Exactly. The, the but problem if, is if the sun is up. I understand how head. directions work, but if half the plane saw it, that meant the other half could have seen it if it was going the other direction, correct? I don't think you can turn a jet that quickly, can hey, you? Hey, look, you're all going to puke, but you're going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Story no, but it's just silly, yeah. I if you're on the right side of the plane, you'll see the total. And if you're on the left side, well, good luck. Would you like a full Coke? They could have rolled it like one of those hot dog rollers, yeah. and everyone gets to see it. <laughs> yeah, they should have Denzel Washington yeah. upside down. Exactly. Oh, that would have been great. Uh, Ace, what was your query? No, uh, the report I saw said it, it was supposed to be doing S maneuvers or whatever that is. Oh, uh, yeah, just throwing sure. up nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it sounds like. Ugh. And you know that you, you, got, you got the middle seat and the dick sitting next to you doesn't want to see that because he puts his window yeah. shade yeah. down. Hey! <laughs> that's funny. Aren't there pilot simulators for, uh, like, you know, would-be captains of uh sure uh, absolutely yeah. and, yes and sometimes they finish and they go by the way you you know you landed you took off safely you landed safe but everyone got sick like mm. they they can tell <laughs> yeah, that the way you were flying everyone would have been puking oh yeah <laughs> i've experienced that on a boat oh yeah that there's that's that's really something all you want to do is get back to land and uh, seasickness is really intense no, please don't talk about this okay, i'm sorry. going on a cruise this summer I'm you are where you go? Oh, i was on a small like a in the ocean fishing boat and we were just dying uh, so you're, you're you may not feel it it's not a big cruise though it's like one of the smaller the oh you're gonna be sick the whole time oh, yeah. mediterranean yes ah i knew it is it is it rough there it's the gorgeous it's perfect okay it's, 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 it's my honeymoon except during the summer <laughs> <laughs> then it's puke city <laughs> okay good All right, right now i want to talk about uh giving yourself a fresh look at your house no no i'm not talking about getting new windows or getting a new concrete porch i'm talking about making it safe where you feel safe thanks to simply safe home security we've been talking about this since uh, before we were talking about it if that makes sense <laughs> it doesn't chick mcgee came in one day and said, you're not going to believe this i put in I, I put in a home security system it took me half an hour over the weekend that was our first taste of Simply Safe. Don't believe us though, the best home security system voted once again 
by U.S. News and World Report. And Newsweek awarded Simply Safe best customer service in home security. See what I'm talking about? They've got sensors to detect break ins, uh, fires, floods, carbon monoxide, glass breaks, whatever you need for your place. And you don't have to be an expert to install it. Also, I, I check, I, he has the record for us, he has yeah. 11 cameras. So it's like uh, it's like switching the Olympic Games when you want to look at his phone. Uh, by the way, you can also get 24-7 professional monitoring from Simply Safe for less than a dollar a day. And Simply Safe professional monitoring agents could even help stop crime in real time by talking to the intruders. Hey, you, with the uh, beret, the mask, and the striped striped shirt. What are you, one of the Beagle Boys? Uh, get out of there. <laughs> uh, no contract, 60 day money back guarantee from Simply Safe. Risk free. So if you don't love it, send it back. Simply Safe has given us and many Bob and Tom show listeners real peace of mind. Want you to have that too. Don't forget that you can get that uh, sump, pump, sump pump alarm. A lot of great stuff that you might not even be thinking about until trouble comes your way. Get 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring by visiting simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. There is no safe like Simply Safe. And you can do it yourself. It's a snap. And if you don't want to do it yourself, they've got folks that'll come do it for you. Coming up, I don't know if you heard about this, but um, a prankster uh, got through on a television station when they were supposed to be showing the eclipse. They were showing uh, something else. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Maria, were you a temp? Did you I was temp for a long time, about seven years, and uh, I was like, how they make every job sound like, you know, it, it you know, so crazy, you know, um, we, we do things a little differently around here. We're a bit of a nut house. Hold on your hat. It's going to be a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> but it never is. No. <laughs> I trained people in at offices, you know, so I was like, oh, the fax machine's a little tricky. Yeah, you got to dial nine to get out. Mm -hmm. No, a lot of people try to use the fax machine. They go, oh, it's not working. I said, did you dial nine? <laughs> you know, oh, uh, what's a week, Rajiv? No, every day we get bagels in the kitchen. There was week. Uh, Rajiv made some mini muffins. That's on a Monday. So guess what? Guess what that's called? Mini muffin Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I wish offices would be as crazy as they always promised. You know, yeah. you get trained mm -hmm. in. Be like, uh, take me out of your pocket. Hi, I'm Zakynthos, the talking rabbit. I'm in charge of the vol volcano. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, you'll be working for Thor. He's uh, always scrabbling through the recycling looking for quartz. He's a dwarf. <laughs> Nude. <laughs> Anywho, lunch is from 12 to 1, but there is a wrinkle in time, so just try to get back any time for the quickening. <laughs> your flippers, your barbecue tongs. If you have any questions, uh, go back to the fifth dimension. I'll be sitting there on my lily pad. <laughs> my only question is, when do I start? Yeah. Mm -hmm. a good job. <laughs> Wow. Man. I love that. Mm -hmm. it, 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 dial nine for the fax machine. Remember that. Everybody's so crazy. Important. No, they're not. Okay. Thank you. Maria Bamford is with us. Wow, that's brilliant. That's very, very funny. Do you ever work in an office, Tom? Mm. Uh, I don't think you have, have you? I've worked in a restaurant. No. Right? No, it's an interesting experience. Bob, mm. did you ever work in an oh, office? Oh, yeah, I've done a little bit. I office. have issues yeah. with authority, you might have noticed. I know, that's why I was asking. <laughs> you know what struck me is it's, it's so quiet. What, in an in office? office? Yes. Well, yeah. Well, you're still, yes. that's if, if people are actually doing work. Yeah. And I had to work at a bank once when I was at Temp, and mm. I was stunned at how quiet it was. Mm -hmm. And people whisper, that, you know, yeah, you know what the saddest place in the world is when you're the temp and it's time for office birthdays and you didn't get the email because you're not on the system yet. Mm. Right. And you hear the voice of your coworkers rise from the conference room. Happy birthday, everybody who had their uh, birthday in the office this month. Mm -hmm. and if you cup your curves mug against the conference room <laughs> door, you can almost hear the happy scraping of plastic fork against paper plate. Mm. And later sometimes, guys, somebody comes by your cube and says, oh, there's cake left did the temp get any cake what's her name again mm -hmm. oh uh yeah. hey my <laughs> <laughs> if you want any cake there's cake left nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cake temp want cake <sighs> yeah they all sad. want cake maria bamford is our guest <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. 
ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. the blackjack table going, oh, dealer busted your ass, bitch. Oh, that's my dealer. I got my dealer jersey on. Hey, this is Ron White, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Actually, I'm doing a CNN interview at 10, or else I'd go with him. Doing Larry King first time. I'm very Larry. excited. Yeah, I just want him to go, Saskatchewan, hello! <laughs> Can you turn down the electric blanket? <laughs> I can't turn off the fan above the oven. <laughs> I go, you know what I'm going to do, Larry? We're going to try to get your shoulders a little higher. You can do that. Why are my suspenders so tight? Because <laughs> they don't go around your <laughs> Larry. That's why they go up. See, if you let them go, the shoulders will do that. You won't look like a, you know, you look like a vulture in heat. <laughs> you know, the... Muncie, hello. <laughs> Question for the skinhead. <laughs> Bob and Tom. 24-7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom 24-7. This is Bob. <laughs> hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. We're having some laughs. Hope you, uh, well, why, why don't you join us? Hey, go to a party and you're invited. Yes. Don't you love that? This is one of those things. You don't even have to RSVP. No way. Just show up. I no no appointment necessary. No? I, love, I love RSVP. Do you? Yeah. Do you ever RSVP? Sure. I just want to imagine one of the first things I remember learning from my mom. Which I said, what's that stand for? Uh, like, it's Responde Si Vous Play or something, right? Yes. Oh, and it does? Oh, yeah, it's French. That. It's okay. short. Mm -hmm. See, did you know that? See, so you learned something today Responde in the show. Absolutely. I love learning. Yeah. I love Is that French. really what it stands yes, for? Yes, respond, please. How did it take me 50 years to learn that? You didn't know that? <laughs> well, I knew it. I knew what, what it meant, yeah. not right. meant, meant. Yeah. I knew you were supposed it's, to RSVP, but I never knew what it stood for. Yeah, that's uh, what isn't it that, stands for. Isn't, isn't that like yeah. respondez-vous? Uh, respondez, s'il vous plaît. Today's, okay. respond, today's respond, French day s'il vous plaît. I, yeah, my mom. Is it French day? Yeah, Bonjour. we have uh, cookies that came from France. Yeah, Lemon? The lemons. Lemon. Yeah. That's a true story. What, you, what, what Pat is talking about. <laughs> I thought he was just being silly in the I green wasn't. room. What's I'm that? An, I'm an there's a, 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 Jason's wife made some cookies for her bunko last night, and they had leftovers, so they brought them in, and there's a Post-it note on top of it. What does it say? It says lemon cookies, Pop. and now there the E and the M of lemon, there is a slight gap. It's very <laughs> slight. But when Pat, Pat, you went up to him and you said... I said, oh, these are what fancy. These are, what are these, La Mom cookies? Yeah. And in my head, I went, oh, we're going to have a little fun. And I go, yes, yes, they're French, and they're uh, thinking he was just joking I around. hear Christy in the hallway, lemon! <laughs> and, he, and then Pat goes, oh, they're lemon. I go, you weren't kidding? He goes, no. <laughs> I was not. Uh, uh, He's funnier uh, than he knows. Uh, <laughs> he just can't stop it. He can't turn it off. <laughs> Lemon cookies. Lemon. So do you RSVP with uh, French also? You could. Oui. Or no. <laughs> no merci. 
No, thank you. Yes. Okay. No, merci. Good to know. Como se va? Oh, so you learned something today, Jeffrey? Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, once again, Jeff Oski <laughs> sitting in for Chick McGee at the nice orangeinsouls.com sports desk. Christy Lee is sitting in for herself uh, over there. I can see her. What, yes. what else is happening? Well, we're not talking about France. We're talking about Mexico. A Mexican TV station accidentally broadcast images of a man's testicles during its live eclipse coverage. Accidentally. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> they just had that we had stock footage of a man's balls. According to, <laughs> according to TMZ, news anchors from Mexico's RCG Media were commenting just as the eclipse entered totality when a set of testes dipped into frame. <laughs> <laughs> dipped into frame, no less. Giving viewers a brief close-up view of someone's genitals. News anchors were visibly shocked by the incident <laughs> As for how the man's unmentionables ended up in the broadcast, RCG Media has reportedly asked viewers to send in personal eclipse footage. And according to the New York Post, one Twitter user with the handle Revolver claimed responsibility for submitting the clip to RCG as he re reveled in his successful prank. How? Yeah. Because I mean, a lot of the TV, I saw that. TV stations were asking people to send in their pictures. Mm -hmm. Right. So they just were editing on the fly. Wow. All these thousands of pictures coming in. Someone just clicked the wrong button, and suddenly you've got... <laughs> I would love to see. Yeah. Is there a video of this? I want to see this. That was somebody sacked, for sure. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh nice. Oh, yeah. Not. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Do, they, do they still have the announcement to the, uh, on radio where the... This is a testicle. <laughs> this is, oh, this yes. is only a testicle. A test they do have tickle. those, and they should be illegal. They they are they're so loud, and they scare the hell out of me. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's the one thing I just, the, one, the, the one thing about him is, could they get a new voiceover guy? The emergency broadcast system. Yeah, have you heard one lately? Uh, it's, it's the same it, guy. No, but it's and it's all static and. Yeah. <laughs> They're the worst. Uh, this they, is a they, test. they need to update that thing. In, In any the next event, 60 if you're, seconds, if you're this watching, station will be conducting a test of the emergency. The broadcast loudest thing system. you've ever heard. You'd be perfect, Chris. <laughs> this is only a test. I do miss the test pattern. Do you? Why, why, what do you miss? Oh, when you would <laughs> sign what the TV stations off? It? it meant go to bed. You can just look it up now anytime you want and look at it. It meant my day was Is there over. a website of test patterns? You can just That's go to YouTube and type in test pattern and yeah. it'll show you them from around the world. You can just oh, spend nice. hours watching test patterns. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I doubt if this um, Mexican display of testes instead of the eclipse is floating around out there. Mm. I'm sure they, they, scr they, they scrubbed it. A much happier eclipse story. A couple in Texas got married during the solar eclipse. Oh. Kelby Nowak of Waco told Fox News Digital that he and his fiance Giselle Vento were looking at possible wedding dates when they realized they would be in the path of totality on April 8th. Even though clouds and possibly rain were forecast for the big day, the couple went ahead with the intimate backyard ceremony. Noak and Vento said, I do just before totality, which suddenly came into view as the clouds opened up. How about that? A sign from heaven. How exciting. That's great. Yeah, it's very sweet. And yes. of course, if you have those glasses on, you know, no one can tell if you're sleeping during the ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> those, things yeah. Are, those things are really dark. <laughs> uh, I, oh. No. I, oh, well, go ahead, Pat. You have a song? Hello, I'm Patty Cash. Oh, hey, Patty. We got married in an eclipse. <laughs> Darker than a Jessel Nick joke. <laughs> <laughs> we drove hours to Indiana, looked at the sky with the local town folk, got married in an eclipse. Don't need glasses, we'll be fine. Married in an eclipse. Oh, they say love is blind. <laughs> 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 I, I see why you rushed it. <laughs> Fell off the camera. I love it. Yeah. I didn't see the details because I was at lunch, but over my head they had TVs on. You know how they do that in restaurants. And uh, apparently a couple got engaged on one of those flights, those eclipse flights, I believe. Mm. So that's kind of cool. But doesn't, a, uh, in general, a bride not want to be... Upstaged on her uh, wedding day? Yeah, or eclipsed, if you will. Oh, yeah, yeah. Upstaged by an event? I would think, but... But I guess I guess the, it'll be easy. Well, the the best thing I just thought of this isn't the next eclipse uh, eight hundred years from now or something. But twenty years no, here no, in the no, U.S. Oh, so, so well, but, four years. So, okay, so this guy's got twenty years where he's got to get an anniversary <laughs> gift, right? <Yeah. laughs> 
just <laughs> save, them, save them a little cash down the road. You see. I have just uh, texted all of you the yeah, the video that, video. that was sent it's played over the uh, it's graphic. It the, so uh, the testicle video? Yes, yeah. I had. You I, found I, it? Yes. I, I had it. It's from, on your phone, Tom. From the other day. Yes. And I, Jeff, uh, you were the culprit. I just you? sent it to everyone so rough. you could uh, enjoy the five seconds of fun. Yeah. Oh, there they Harry. are. Oh. Very hairy and dangly. I, Very hairy. Veiny, even. Yes. It's really well done. Yeah. I mean, because it's it starts. You think you're seeing the sun, right? right. So they just so that's why they put that's it up there. Why, yeah. They just yeah. went, oh, there's a sun, and then you and, then, and then where the the part where the moon starts to eclipse the sun, it's suddenly what's eclipsing it is a. Yes. Harry sack. He even sort of slowly yes. moved yes. in so that it looks like it's a Which is brilliant. Yeah, so whoever was at the TV station probably sure. was... they wouldn't know. Yeah, they, they... Okay, this looks like another good one. I'll put this in here. This this guy, this guy scrotum deserves a daytime Emmy. <laughs> this was very well done. And, and he, has yeah. the, he has the standard... Um, let's see, I'm not sure if we're looking from the front or the back. Uh, if we are looking from the front, the right testicle is significantly larger than the left. Yeah. Are you oh, seeing yeah. this? It is hanging lower. Oh, yeah. 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 How did you find that i <laughs> it's, yeah. that's just what i have in my phone <laughs> that's great yeah we probably can't put that up huh? no 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 it's too gross and yeah too bally wow okay well uh once again uh, the, uh, the thank you for that that You're was welcome. Much. mexican television station it, this this guy pranked them and uh, oh, yeah. they were shocked oh. i didn't know what to do i bet can you imagine being at home on your what 80 inch tv oh, and just geez. seeing that no, come but, across yeah, but i think josh is putting can you imagine being on the air oh well we apologize oh, for yeah. that because i was i was we were i was watching it they had a big screen tv right there uh, so you could see what was happening and they were showing all the stuff on TV and you'd look up and see the sun and you put your glasses on. But they had lots of commentary, a lot of uh, meteorologists and they were sort of going Time on out. and on. And Where'd on. you go to see this? You were outside yeah. watching the eclipse Check. on TV. No, no, I was it, both. <laughs> like you would go in or the TV was outside? No, there's, they have an outside TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you were in a place where there was my, a bunch of My friend's house. He's got a pool and an a, event. Oh, and okay. a uh, what do you call it? An yeah, outdoor TV a area. Yeah, that? they had hours long things. Yeah. They were going on all day before and after we were talking about it. Outdoors the whole time. Yeah. We didn't have no, but I mean, I was outside. Okay. Standing next to this guy's pool. And then there was a, what do you call it? A indoor outdoor porch area with a big uh -huh. TV. Ah, okay. Cool. That makes so sense. So you could see. But, but my point is that there are a lot of. They were trying to fill. Yeah, they're trying to fill. It's, a lot of time. And there's not much to say. Yeah. And then everybody they interviewed went, wow, it was awesome. Ah. Mm -hmm. And then they, variations on the same thing. I mean, what are you going to say? Wow, well, I took awesome. my glasses off and burned out my eyes. Okay, no, we next. Didn't that. Nikki Glaser was one of the hosts on the thing I saw. Oh, really? that's cool. Yeah, was, she was great. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. a hard thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is not easy. And again, and again, my point is if you were doing it and all of a sudden you go, okay, now we have, uh, our, our audience is setting in some of their points of view and here we have one oh it looks like oh it's a hairy sack <laughs> yeah that's... if i were I mean, in the air i would giggle so loud i mean do you acknowledge it or do you i would i would be well i, I, I think they had they probably immediately uh, went oh, i would have giggled sorry that got past us we didn't mean <laughs> they had to do one of those things it was harry reasoner it was gonna be <laughs> <laughs> The late Harry Reid, you know, a shot of his testicle. Yeah, it reminds me of my ex. It says, says the one woman. <laughs> that would have been, that been yeah. 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 Oh, look. I've seen those oh. before. Uh, we return to the news desk. What else is going uh, on? Well, speaking of nudity, it gets complicated, so pay attention. A guy in Ireland appeared in court completely naked, claiming that what he termed his or with his emotional support cat, actually, had gone missing during an arrest. So Mr. Joseph Davis appeared in Dublin District Court after he'd been charged for failing to cooperate with police and not keeping his car stationary during a traffic stop. He reportedly refused to wear his clothes when he was brought to the courthouse. So the judge has rep uh, remand remanded? Yeah. Okay, remanded the 51-year-old into custody and directed that he receive medical attention. He also asked authorities, the judge, to find out what happened to the man's cat, whose name is Oliver. During the incident, the judge remarked, I don't see his wallet on him today, at which point Mr. Davis interjected, you don't see effing anything. The court segment, uh, the court sergeant rather, informed the judge the man had his property, including his clothes, but he refused to put them on. Oh, what? I don't understand why he had to be naked, but... I wonder what his reasoning was. 
If I had my emotional support cat, I wouldn't act this way. I, I guess. I don't know. Um, mm. He's obviously a lunatic. He obviously needs medical attention. Correct. Although, if that sounds like if, if you did a TV show in America called The Naked Defendant, people would watch. <laughs> it, it would be yeah. huge. Yes, yes. It, it would oh, be, oh, there's yeah. a twist for Miss Pat's show. They should put those people on. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, Miss Pat or Judge yeah. Judy with people oh, right. coming out naked. Yeah. Um, also, an emotional support cat. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that happens. Oh, the there cat. are emotional support cats. So, but but the guy has to, I don't know, he has to be naked without the cat. I don't understand why he had to be naked. That I, makes no sense. No. When I had a cat, I was always fearful of being naked around it. We like, t- the you- way it just bats at it, like it's sure. a speed bag. Right. Oh, good, I'd be yeah. afraid of, uh... Yeah. Yeah. If it saw that eclipse. Puncture. <laughs> exactly. Oh, look, nuts. <laughs> Puncture. That happened to Ace. Mm-hmm. Ace's, when uh, Ace's cat was a kitten. It, it clawed well, your sack. It was a few years ago. Yeah. Right. Ooh. What? Yeah. You said you were sitting in a chair and you're... No, sitting on the edge of the couch. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Boys are dangling. Yeah. And, uh, sack was out. <laughs> oh. me never <laughs> to sit on your couch. <laughs> was your sack out because... Oh, oh, is on the edge of the much, couch with oh, your sack out. How much no. lead time is there before the balls <laughs> kick like, into that sack? Like the sportswear I'm wearing now. Oh. At some point, oh. they wear out. In a certain area. Oh, I, for, I forgot your, your underwear has holes in it, so they were well, probably you know, just free falling. My lounge pants, some of them, most of them have holes in it. Okay, oh. So they kind of they, they kind of they spilled out, yeah. and then your cat eventually went, "Hey, I want to bat at that," and clawed it. Yes, that had to be brutal. Again, again, how much space is there from where the sack meets your meets your taint, if you will, before the balls kick in? I mean, is it like is it like a tube sock? What's going on? Well, they may even hanging. I, hanging. Maybe it was an August uh, afternoon. He had the windows <laughs> open. Uh, air uh, them out. Air them out. Yeah. Cats can jump. <laughs> You're just glad it didn't. Uh, yeah, try to climb. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. What's interesting about this story to me is that the the police were kind enough to go. Okay, this guy's a lunatic. We have to take him to court. He won't put his clothes on, so we're going to take him naked. Yeah. Sir, we said to raise your right hand, uh, uh, yeah. not your third leg. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in the Bible. Yes. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, you got to hand it to the police for, you know, okay, here we go. You know, give this lunatic a blanket at least. Yeah. Uh, well, once again, the naked, the naked defendant. Uh, now, what else is coming up, Christy Lee? Well, we're not done with naked news. We have a man drunk found naked sitting somewhere special. And we have a lot of... Um, Special news from the world of uh, defecation. Oh, terrific. Uh, we, have a, we have a story out of Hollywood that is... Uh, so stupid. Yes, I am, not, I am not a psychiatrist, but I do play one on the radio. This thing is as insane... Does it involve somebody we've heard of? Yes. Yes, it's okay. a famous oh, person, yeah. and yes. it's... Uh, again, e- even if I, if I did have whatever this peculiarity is i would certainly never tell anyone exactly that's she Uh, she wants attention everybody wants attention well it's really disturbing okay when i I walked in at 5 a.m tom was like have you seen the story yet (laughs) he was so excited an hour before the show all right he could not wait i I, it's it's (laughs) absolutely appalling (laughs) i mean uh I, I look forward to hearing. If you. aliens arrive, the first thing they do is to torch Hollywood and go, "Look, this is causing, You're welcome. This is causing most of your problems." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> famous movie stars. Oh, we got to get rid of them. Uh, we'll come right back and tell you about it. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Which one? The story about when you and Cheryl were playing, and you, the day that you finally, well, the, the day that she quit playing one on one against you. You mean when I finally beat her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, is, this is Reggie's was, sister. Yeah, a couple of course. years ago, <laughs> she, uh, she, she, wasn't, she wasn't gonna play anymore. Well, when I sent her shot into the <laughs> my mom's rose garden, <laughs> we started playing horse. Right. But you got to remember, Cheryl was always two to three inches taller as we were growing up. So mm-hmm. I started to catch her in height my freshman and sophomore year of high school. Mm-hmm. So up until that point, Cheryl dominated me. <laughs> she, but she, she dominated everyone, oh, though. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't.
don't feel so bad. Uh-huh. Didn't she score? A, how many did she score that one night? You, you, you scored, what was it? 45. 45. 50. She came in and. You know, I'm gloating. Because <laughs> uh-huh. you know, we had played in the away gym. She had played at the home gym. So mm-hmm. my dad was with her at the their game and my mom was with me so we get in the car hey i had my best game ever uh-huh. 40 45 points strider started strider what did you do tonight and she looked at my dad and look kind of looked down <laughs> uh-huh. my dad's like oh she had a pretty good game i was like oh yeah but i bet it wasn't 40 45 yeah. uh, no she had a really good game <laughs> well, what's really good uh-huh she had 105 <laughs> By yourself? <laughs> I'm like, they, the team scored 105? No, 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 son. Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl scored. Oh, 105 points. 105 and five I bet that record still points. stands. I believe it does. Mm-hmm. They beat that team 179 oh, to my 12. God. The point guard which is still a record, had 39 assists. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like crazy numbers. <laughs> hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese jalapeno-flavored oven-baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven-baked bundle package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. And the nose of visitors to your home and see what a difference it can make. Hi, I'm Mary. How you been? <laughs> Wonderful, Janet. Hey, your house smells great. See how easy? If you pick up Lick Clip today, and if you're not delighted with the results, we'll send your money back. Lick Clip, by the same company that brought you Le Blindfold, the product that makes messy, cluttered homes look more neat and organized. <laughs> Gosh, I need to. The house has never looked better. <laughs> Live Blindfold and Lay Clip. Pick yours up today. <laughs> okay. Bob and Tom, 24-7. And I went to see the police in concert. Band. Great band, yeah. yeah. And Sting is got he's dressed like a rock star, but I'm noticing he has on his wrist 
a watch, and and not like a fancy watch, a watch. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at. Do you need that as a rock star? You know, it's just, wh where you got to go, Sting? You need a watch. You know, you don't, I don't want my rock stars punctual. You know, if you're going to make a date with Jim Morrison, he'd be late. You know, what is he going to be in the middle? Is everyone ready to rock and roll? Hold on. Well, we better wrap it up in about an hour and 15. <laughs> I've got some stuff to do. The sitter is waiting. Are you ready to rock? I want my rock stars on heroin or dead, okay? That's a rock star. Here, here. Not with a watch. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. Woo! The thrill of victory. <laughs> and the agony of defeat. Don't touch those. Sorry. The human drama of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. Woo! This is The Bob and Tom Show. No, that's a tequila and watch a great show. Welcome back to The Bob and Tom Show. Apparently, and I don't know if we're going to get to this now, but there's a, uh, a story out of Hollywood that is just we're really something. Now, yeah. You know, I, I, oh, yeah. I, if you're a psychiatrist, listen up because uh, someone needs some help. I'm not aware of what this is about. This okay, is... now before we get to that, I've got a request for Pat. Oh, okay. oh boy. Whoa, oh boy. You need to get your guitar, Pat. Get your guitar, Pat. It's right here all the time. Pat, get your guitar. Is it in your <laughs> lap? <laughs> is it I'm it? on piano now because we have the story coming well, up. Well, get your guitar. You need, okay, you, you can play this on right the piano. Here. Then. Okay, we have a, a suggestion. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I look across the way and I see the chick is not here sitting in at the orange insoles.com sports desk. It's Jeff Oske. Yes, That's it right. is. Um, and then I look over there at the sidekick chair. It's the Steven Singer sidekick chair, known as the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. We don't chair. have to do that every time. Um, <laughs> you want to have to get a new car? Uh, um, okay, Pat. Uh, we just had a story about a uh, incident during what we're now calling a post-ecliptic what is the? I had the word. Ecliptic. I forgot it. Ecli post, yeah, but it post, the post ecliptic, ecliptic world, pocticle or whatever is kind of funny because it's like post apocalyptic. Right. Yeah, that was the joke. So post uh, ecliptic ecliptic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and and in any event, uh, if you want to review what happened on Mexican television, a. Uh, uh, I guess they were asking the audience to send in their pictures of the eclipse. Right, and videos of the eclipse and, you know, stuff. Well, in Mexico, a TV station accidentally broadcast images of the man's testicles during their live eclipse coverage. And, and Oscar found this thing, and it looks like, at first it looks like, okay, there's the sun. Yep. And then it, it's, it, it slowly... It's not the moon. <laughs> ...gets obscured, <laughs> and you realize, oh, dear God, it's a guy's <laughs> testicles. And they're, and they're hairy. Yeah. yeah. But uh, 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 Kevin was kind enough... Uh, to write us, and he said, Pat, I heard the eclipse testicle story. Could you do a version of scrotal eclipse of the heart? <laughs> <laughs> a little takeoff on that. <laughs> Pull your pants down and stare at the song. <laughs> Let your boys hang. It's a lot of fun. Turn around. Brown big balls. Brown, Brown balls. sack. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm not sure about the tone of the sack. I, well, it happened in Mexico. I, I assume they're tan-ish. <laughs> I think it was a. I think it was a. Uh, they were hairy. That's what I noticed. Uh, did they look? Uh, they look brown. Yeah, they, they do. Really brown. <laughs> okay. Well, balls are always. They're kind yeah. of brown anyway. Yeah. What the bins? They can be all kinds of. Well, colors. mine are just bruised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you, mine have bite marks. Uh, is it? <laughs> is it because you, you were playing the the home pinata game with one of your lady friends? <laughs> Hit it harder. I get those reflex hammers from doctors and go, have at it, baby. <laughs> well, you're divorced. Don't you have one missing? <laughs> I have both missing. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the great suggestion. We certainly appreciate that, Kevin. Uh, wherever you are, you can reach the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. We always love hearing from you. Tell us where you are, what you're doing, and why. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, we return to Chris Lee. This is really disturbing. Go ahead. Actress Tori Spelling has revealed she cannot defecate alone. Alone? Yep. The yeah. actress disclosed her unusual bowel habits in the latest episode of her Miss Spelling podcast, saying it's been 18 years since she has gone to the bathroom, both number one and number two, by herself. What? She admitted that she is codependent and only went number two in front of her now estranged husband, Dean McDermott. Since their split... 
spelling seven-year-old son Bo now has to accompany his mom while she's pooping in the bathroom. Okay, so... Now, there's a lot So he doesn't have a college fund. He has a therapy fund. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, Exactly. Homeschooling for this kid, for sure. This is insane. Boy, I feel a little bad for her you she needs to really address this there's no way this is real you know you, you think she's making it up what does she do when she has to go to the bathroom at a restaurant grab a right. patron and well, go you, I, 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 women always go with a buddy no, yeah, but, not like but that. that's not actually like that. that's actually crap just no. to talk <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> yeah. you <laughs> actually on her podcast two weeks ago you asked, know you know this. she asked for divorce <laughs> to her husband you no, have, they're already divorced. Yeah, they've been divorced. They've been divorced. Well, they were still together, but this no, says this, this, says, is, a, this just says she's estranged. Been, but yeah, the larger point here is, even if this was something you you had to do, would you tell anybody? And of course, you wouldn't bring your well, seven year old son into it. I mean, it's oh, no. you don't think she's doing this at all? No. But but why? This We're is, there, talking about there's her. There's no positive. She doesn't need the money. She's I see what you're a, she's saying. a she billionaire. She does need the money. She her father was Aaron Spelling. He, he had the largest property mother, in the history of California. Yeah, they cut her happened. off. Yeah, she's a strange her mother's yeah, cut her, her mother, off. Yeah. She's been living in a RV oh, park down by the river with her five kids. Oh, that was explains why she hasn't had her nose fixed. Yeah, she oh, has. Well, she what? <laughs> what? Unnecessary personal attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's she has one of those really obvious nose jobs. Spelling yeah. Goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's all. I, only, I can't picture. I haven't seen her since she's maybe nine or two and zero. No, yeah, no. I know. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Her. No, she's fallen on some of... pretty hard times. Well, that poor lately. woman. She's she needs help. Yeah. That if, poor if this woman. Is legit. That poor son. Well, of course. But yeah. It yeah. all. Sta- it all. It's trickled down, so to speak. Well, and then she was talking about she how have to have, she. I have a question. So she she has to have someone in the toilet area when she's defecating. Does she have to make eye contact with them? Right. This, I don't this is know. like my, I wonder if a stranger would count if you were if she were in a stall and there was somebody in the stall next to her if that would count. I bet no. My dog would go <laughs> for her. She would sit there and look at her while she's going. She does it for me. I wonder if I wonder if that would do it or if I it has know. to be a human being. Yeah, has she tra- has she tried Wordle? I've always found that to be a pretty good yeah. laxative. Oh. <laughs> Do you ever challenge yourself? You have to get the New York Times done before you finish. Never. <laughs> That's maybe, the maybe it's just that me. means you're taking your phone into the bathroom with you. Yeah, he does. Yeah, everybody does. Yeah. I I would venture to guess most people do. Yeah, I stopped. Yeah, because I went, oh, what what, what am I hanging out in here for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I mean, this to me, I maybe this this is a common thing in the world of uh, mental health. I've never heard of this, but I'm sure no. about, I'm sure many psychiatrists have have encountered rather odd things. But using your child as a laxative to me seems to be one yeah. of the oddest. Well, she's got that new book coming out next week called How to Ruin Your Child with One Simple Step. Uh, yeah, you should check it out. That's yeah. pretty... Uh, yeah, number yeah. two Number two does not refer to the number of people you need in this toilet. Oh, no. yeah. well, you have a song about Tori Spelling having to poop in front of her friends? A little Barry Manilow. You can sing along with me after the first line here. Oh, here we go. You know I can't poop without you. Come on now. Can't poop without you. Oh, I can't. I can't crap <laughs> unless you sit on my lap, hold my hand, or I can go. Not even a squirt, let alone fill the bowl. Seeing <laughs> you as I go number two, I just can't poop without you. Good night, everybody. Oh, thank, thank you, Mary. You, thank you. Uh, I know I feel bad for Barry Manilow. Sorry, Mr. Manilow. We didn't mean to. Oh, man. So bizarre. That's weird. I just can't believe that. I, I, this has to, and it can't just be the pooping. She must need uh, yeah. company. She said she's codependent. She needs somebody with her all the time, yeah. apparently. So that's this is indicative of a real, a much larger issue, Tori. Please <laughs> right. talk to somebody. Wow. <laughs> you think she would have talked to somebody a long time ago. Remember they had the story about her sleeping with a pig or something in their mm-hmm. bed, too? and they had, Really? Yep. Yes. With a pig? Yes, and like a pet pig, yeah, but... like a pot belly pig or something. God, you know what? I, I, I look. Tori grew up in probably the weirdest house. I, I mean, when sure. wasn't when, that wasn't that literally the largest oh, house in Beverly house Hills, in, yeah. in California? Yeah. And I'm also talking homes, st- like not just the <laughs> the building, of course. Well, but we have the, candy and Aaron spelling, the, the weirdo right? family yeah. stuff, the Hollywood right. nonsense. Yeah, I, I can't help but kind of think that she's somewhat of a victim. 
Yeah, but <laughs> she you, can't get, you can't be raised correctly. Longs for the days when she could just go outside like you would in some extremely rural area, just you in a bucket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but at least you can do it by yourself because you're not nuts. You know what? There's probably a chance she's never been alone. Like Maybe she's always had a nanny exactly. with her. Or a, yeah. yeah, exactly. This man, oh, it's man. Is okay. this no, called I, I, co I, I, dendency <laughs> oh, okay. I was here. If she needs a nanny, it wouldn't be a hooting nanny. It'd be a pooping nanny. <laughs> Poopin There's a show I don't want to watch. Watch your, oh, your, I'd oh, watch that all day. Watch holes with guitars. Hang Singing down about your head, poop. Tom. <laughs> Duty. Hang oh, down your head and poop. You'd watch that in a uh, No, I hate folk music. I, it's the, the worst thing that ever happened. Yeah, oh. That's that's what ruins it. It's the folk music. It's a rock show. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I never got any of those folk songs. I could never have what they were all about. Never made sense to me. No, I bet they didn't. They were about love and peace. <laughs> <protests. laughs> Kindness to your fellow man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, you're right. when we come you're, back, you're right. <laughs> wow, we, have, so uh, weird. we have more poop in the news, I hate to tell you. And we got a drunk naked guy yeah. being arrested in a garbage can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, happy Tuesday. <laughs> uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah. Uh. Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just getting old. I hate I'm not doing this gracefully. I hate technology. I hate any kind of change. I, have you seen this commercial for a car where they say the car can actually anticipate when you're going to have a wreck? The uh -huh. car can predict when you're going to... I guess they got some kind of computer on board. Right. I thought, you know, if that was really true, as soon as I hand the keys my son, the damn airbags would go off. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I saw all this technology. Like I, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys probably have this. Uh, I just don't understand if this, like, MySpace and Facebook. Oh, yeah. Twitter. Right. I just don't... Mm -hmm. I don't understand the concept. Concept. I don't. Can you imagine uh, being in a mall and going up to a complete stranger and going, Psst, "Could I be your friend?" <laughs> <laughs> denied. You be denied bail. That should be denied. I just, and young people out there, I'm not saying I'm right. I know this is old man cranky talk. I really do. But I, <laughs> I just don't understand. I see all these young college kids getting tattoos with like Chinese characters on their arm. Yeah. You think there's college kids in China getting? Geter Dunn tattooed on their arms. I, I find that unlikely, don't you? I... That's very possible. Now, this, this, you don't have to be old or cranky for this to make you mad, but this is making me nuts. Have you noticed how uh, lately when you call these tech support things, in my case, I was calling my credit card, but when these 1 800 things, we know this has been outsourced for a while, but sure. remember in the beginning how they try to pretend like they're American? Oh, yeah. They'd say, Oh, well, my name is Sean. You go, right. Yeah, how's the weather in Calcutta today, uh, Sean? Uh -huh. but <laughs> now they don't even care. Have you noticed? Seven. I'm serious. I called the other day, and the guy just told me his uh, told me his Indian name, and when they put me on hold, they're playing Ravi Shankar. You know, they didn't, <laughs> oh, they didn't bother to hide it at all. And I, I was getting so frustrated because you know I I wasn't getting anything done. I kept saying, "Excuse me, I'm sorry. What was that? Please, excuse me. Could repeat that." Mm -hmm. And here's what I want you guys to do. It was a lot of fun for me. Maybe we'll start a movement. I started mumbling on purpose, like Boom Hour from King of the Hill or Gabby Hayes. I started going, <laughs> "Yeah, they damn well so make up a thing in there, put someone down on him." He goes, "Excuse me, what?" I said, "Yeah, how do you like it?" <laughs> Up, huh? yeah. Try that on for size. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's uh it's Tiger. 
Oh, hey, Tiger. What's going on, man? I need you to do me a huge favor. Yeah, sure thing, man. What do you need? Um, can you please take your name off your phone? My wife went through my phone and uh, maybe call her. What? <laughs> oh. So if you can, please take your name off that. Are you f***ing me? <laughs> she knows about us? Oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad. Just a number. Oh, boy. <laughs> She hasn't seen the photos yet. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger. You still love me, right? Okay, you gotta do this for me. Please tell me you still love me. <laughs> Tiger. 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 Hello. Oh. Hello. Uh. woman show you her legs because if she has to she will oh. look at this one uh, i think oh. i'm gonna puke mm -hmm. oh here hold my purse i'll show you my hysterectomy scar uh. when you need help call on the only superhero who wears long polyester pants oh. comfortable support hose and sensible shoes she's spider vein woman coming soon to a theater near you Night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. I can't think about the big picture. It's just hard, don't you think, to be human right now? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got stresses and pressures. Every I've got suicide bombers and gingivitis. <laughs> you know, something's gonna, yeah. Get, something's gonna get me. Oh, it yeah. is. What oh, do you, yeah. I mean, I do the best I can. You know, I floss twice a day and spy on my neighbor because that's what they said. That's it's what they okay said. To do yeah. that. Keep yeah. your eyes open. Let us know if you see something fishy. That's, that's right. What they said. And I don't know. You think that's gonna work? There was a lady in Florida that gave birth and didn't know she was pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Y you want that lady watching your back? Really? You want that lady <laughs> voting? You know? Yeah. Really? yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm sure she's a nice lady, but something yeah. tells me things get by her. That's all I'm saying. I mean, how do you, yeah. I, had a baby. I thought I had indigestion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A little backfire yeah. from a burrito the other day. Yeah. No. Uh, it's a baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. Here, can I help you through the X-ray machine, Mr. Otta? Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yes. When grandfather dies, life. Life will be strange when grandfather dies my whole world will change when grandfather dies i'll scream and i'll yell cause i'll be rich as hell <laughs> <laughs> and then i, I figured That's i didn't need to write anymore morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine no matter how hard i try can't keep my hands off my face <laughs> <laughs> That was a free one. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. Looking lovely as always. Oh, thank you. There's Pat Godwin, as handsome as ever in the music room. Thank you. You too, Joe. Jeff Oske, uh, striking a, uh, a, a dashing figure over there at the <laughs> OriginSouls.com sports desk. He I'll wants to buy her 20 or borrow Do you lubricate bucks. that beard? Is that, or is that free? Is that thing you beard free, oil? free ball? Yeah, I use beard oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's it called? Beard oil. <laughs> is, is there a particular brand you're loyal to? Uh, well, no. The people I was loyal to, the honest Amish, come to find out, have no Amish working there. Oh. They are not honest. They are liars. Wow. So, are you serious? Yeah. Huh. They're now called the dishonest, dishonest. atheist. <laughs> <laughs> There's Ace Cosby. Hey, I don't get an adjective. You sure do. I, I was uh, about to. I got one for you. <laughs> <laughs> we got. Yeah, hold on. A minute. All right, well. <laughs> the uh, the hunky Ace Cosby. Oh, that works. How about if we did like a um a musical one? We could call you um Bro Cephas. 
How about that? How about not? <laughs> no, <let's> not. <sighs> what, your thoughts on Britain? No, I'm not even. I'm Josh Arnold at the. That's a compliment. I hate it's, it's a It's a Hank Williams Jr. I love well, that guy. Of course, but. Uh, but see, Ace is, would be Brocephus. You know, I don't think Brocephus. <laughs> I don't think Ace likes Brocephus. I also don't think <laughs> Hank likes Brocephus. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. I'm not responsible for the, the attitudes of, of great artists. I, I mean, that's what you, what are you David Allen Bro? David Allen Bro. I don't think you're going to do that. Oh, that, that might be even more problematic. <laughs> yeah, I think for David, I think. I am, uh, from what I've understood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, who Arnold. am I? Yes, Josh, Josh Arnold at the IHateStevenSinger.com. Sidekick. Are you sure. a beard oil guy too? I am not. Not. I have a special beard wash. Uh huh. Cremo uh, beard, beard the wash. The current beard oil, I believe, Cremo. is called Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I Set him right up, didn't I? I, I didn't enjoy a little, <laughs> little hidden valley in the morning. <laughs> do you have like one of those little combs? And I have a br I have a brush. I have a beard brush. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I have a comb. Do I have a wooden. Does comb. it have a smell? The beard oil, so it's. Mine is sandalwood. Oh, sorry. Yeah. sorry. Sandalwood? Same. Sandalwood. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. nice. Okay. Manly. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was Gino's Pizza. <laughs> wow, that's two. <laughs> oh, you can't have pizza without ranch. <laughs> well, of course, it's, uh, uh, it's like shampoo and conditioner. You had stated yesterday that you were going to, yesterday morning, you said you are going to trim your beard today because your brothers were mocking you. Okay. I, I did not say today, but I did say I'm trimming it soon. I, I, yeah. I, in fact, it may be today. I want to do a... I'm, Making a silly beard-related video, and then I'm, and then once that's, oh once that's done, then I can. Uh... By the way, I loved your little video about the eclipse. I thought it was very funny. Oh, thanks. Uh, yes, yeah, double very... protection. I didn't yes. see that. Where is it? Oh, uh, it's on, the, on the socials. Yeah, it's the on the social, social media. Social yeah. and, yeah. and we're not going to post the testicle video. Is that correct? We are Wait. not. I don't think we should. No, no there's no way we can. It's a bad taste. Once again, it was on Mexican television. We are not responsible. I'm on yes. Mexican TV. <laughs> the, the story we're talking about is, um, I'll tell you uh, I guess story. this Mexican television station was having their audience send in photographs of the eclipse as it was happening. And videos, and they were airing them as the eclipse was taking place. And during <laughs> the show, news anchors for Mexico's RCG Media we're commenting when a set of testes dipped into frame, giving viewers a brief close-up view of someone's genitals. And Jeff Oske, being the wonderful friend that he is, sent the video to all of and us. It's, and in, in defense of this television station, it it begins, it looks like a real of course. video. It is a real video. For a couple of seconds. Yeah. yeah. And, it's and it's the, very well edited. And then suddenly they... The guy had to have practiced that a few times to it's, get the camera right. Oh, yeah. It's a, I mean, for a ball prank, <laughs> it's as well done as you can make. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wonder yeah. if he had a buddy handling the camera work. Oh, that could be. Maybe. Or he just set it down. Yeah. Or his yeah. wife. But That's I, a good I, I'm sure the, you've been an, a, a television engineer. I'm yeah. sure that the guy at the station or the lady, whoever it was, watched the first few seconds. So this looks like a good one. Sure. And then just put it, <laughs> right. in, the, put it, put it in the feed, not realizing that maybe you should watch the whole thing. Plus, it's live TV. you got yeah. a lot going on. Very well yeah. executed. Mm -hmm. You know, as as uh, in the movie Anchorman, we've all learned this. We've all been on the yeah. air and been handed something, and used to just just go and read it, like that famous plane crash sure. thing where she just read the right. You know, uh, bad joke yeah. thing. So we've we've all made that error, of course, of in some way. Not that we've ever shown our testicles on the radio. No. Well, I have, but it not really you couldn't you see. We it. can't Nobody see cared, anything because yeah. it's radio. But now they'll run the TV. Ace, how do you watch this show? Bob and Tom YouTube. Okay. You don't like the Brocephus thing, huh? I thought it was pretty cool. We'll work on it. Okay. <laughs> what, what's Brocephus' most famous song? Oh, probably All uh, My Rowdy Friends. Friends. Yeah. Uh, Country Boy Can't Survive. Well, I've already I've got a family good version tradition, of that for you. Right? Yeah, family. Oh, family tradition. Yeah. I know that one. Oh, I've got a really good version of All My Rowdy Friends for Ace. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, we can't do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sue <Sewell> Mace. <laughs> Uh, so we've had the weirdest story of the year in which uh, actress Tori Spelling says she can't in, poop and says alone. she has to she has to be around people even when she's defecating. Yeah, that's that is crazy. sad. So I, I wonder if there's a name for that in the psychiatric books. Mm. Well, it is some sort of some form of codependency, as she said, personality disorder of some sort. Boy, Man. wow. Um, I, if, that kid though. Why? She, yeah, uh, she uses her son, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. Seven. He has, Seven to, he has to come boy. in and watch her, and she used to make her husband do it. No wonder he'd... Hold on one second. Out, he dumped her. Uh, Child Protective Services? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, could you make a visit? Yeah, another visit to the... To the, <laughs> the, the spelling. <laughs> spelling. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's a 902 number two. Uh, <laughs> well, um... Uh.
Let's move forward here. A United Airlines flight was diverted after a dog defecated in the aisle. Data from Flight Radar 24 shows that the flight from Houston to Seattle was diverted to Dallas less than an hour after takeoff. According to a Reddit user, the post says ground crew in Dallas spent two hours trying to clean up the mess the dog made in first class. What? Though the small uh, the smell apparently never quite went away. The first class a, toilet was also deemed unusable. So apparently it this was a, a Great Dane with yeah. some kind of explosive diarrhea. Oh. The first class toilet was also deemed unusable as the dog mess was apparently unresolved in there. What the hell does that mean? It means we have to start put, put, put dogs on the no-fly list, okay? I'm really tired of this. I'm a dog lover. I, I I don't take my dog on vacation. No, I I yeah I I, I it's don't become totally, ridiculous. I don't totally buy the emotional support animal thing, and I know there's yeah. somebody listening right now who needs it. I Dri- I, I drive. Don't, I don't know. I, you're gonna have to explain it to me better. Can you activate your own oxygen mask on a plane? I don't know. Can I don't you think just so. Reach out? I don't think, I don't think so. Oh, you oh, mean because of the stench? To yeah. The smell? To cover that smell. I don't think they will be safe. I don't know. I'm Especially. just glad it happened in first class. Good for you. <laughs> I've never gotten to fly there. Now you get to deal with the smell. And, uh, once again, once again, if you were in the right Boeing aircraft, you'd get a nice breeze going <laughs> when the door flew off. Uh, yeah, Man, yeah. If you're flying first class, you don't need an emo. What are you so emotional about? <laughs> yeah. What do I do with all my money? I need a, I need a <laughs> dog in my lap. My leg there was a little. woman flying in first class on one of my flights for uh, Charleston that had a dog in her lap. It's not for emotion. You just want your dog with you. Uh, you. You'll be fine without it. You know what I do? Emotional support Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of your dog? <laughs> do people name their dogs after their drug of choice? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Probably. Brozac. Brozac. Here, boy. I actually dog sat for someone who's, uh, what What did the dogs Higgins had? Higgins. Uh, from Magnum P.I. Oh. The Doberman. Doberman. Uh, their oh. Doberman's name was Ganja. And, <laughs> and I'm making none of this up. The dog escaped one night. And a black dog running through the night. And I had to go all through the neighborhood just yelling for Gondra <laughs> for like an hour and a half and laugh the entire time. I got you, man. Come on, Gondra. Where's my Gondra? Wow. If you'd, if you'd escaped near Willie's house, he would have gotten invited in. <laughs> what the hell? Remember Josh's cat got out and he had to... Oh, yeah. Had to, you, had, you, had to, you had to run through the neighborhood yelling. Gravy. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Honey, look, Arnold's hungry again. <laughs> Uh, throw the leftovers up. Yeah, yeah, see, see, if, see if the poutine is enough, for God's sake. <laughs> wow. yeah, this, if it took two hours for them to clean up, there must this must have something been a disaster. Lo- yeah, there's something going on. This must on have been here. liquid. Well, of course, it would had to have been. Had to but have, I, I just don't get this. And then if you do have if you do travel with the dog, when you get to the airport. Do you have to go out with the smokers? Do they have like a special? They have a special outdoor? service area. No, inside the terminal, there's like. A little area, one of those green fake patches of grass. Oh, right. Service right, right. dog relief area, I think they yeah. call it. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I shouldn't be so hard. I, you know, what do I know what other people are dealing with? Maybe they do really feel better when they have their dogs with them. I don't mean to criticize. We all but... feel better, but that's not what plane flight is about. <laughs> <laughs> We're all miserable. Be miserable with everyone else. Yes, yes. <laughs> maybe you're not. Maybe, you're, hey, you're going on vacation. You're going to have some fun. Yeah, you want your dog with That's fine. Yeah. Leave, I, I don't know. Leave Fluff and Puff at home. We took our dogs on vacation last year down to Folly Beach in South Carolina, but we drove and it was uh it was very fun. We had a great time. It was I I kind of liked it. it I didn't have to worry. It was cheap. Oh, no, of course. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> but you like you said, you didn't you, you drove a like a normal human being True. and didn't subject others to your Yeah. Now, dog would you on take would you take a doggy poop bag with you on the plane and scoop it up and then I o- Hand I it to the flight attendant. Hi. Here. <laughs> Could I have a, more of my Coke? Uh, I don't think... I've never seen a dog defecate on a plane I mean, This before. is the first I'm hearing. I, yeah, I, yeah, I've never I've ever Well, the dogs don't it. know. Well, of course not. Well, they had to... If the dog well, had to have been ill, I'm sure. I, my body kind of knows. Do you guys have that? Like, when I travel, I don't get... Like, I, if, I if I'm nev- on a plane, I kind of don't have to crap ever. No. True. No matter yeah. how long the flight. Mm-hmm. I think I Absolutely. did once, and that was because I was coming home from Korea, and it was... <laughs> it was 16 hours. Oh. <laughs> 16 hours? Oh, I took a 22-hour flight once. 
I thought you were saying you took a 22 pound. <laughs> I took a 22 pound <laughs> dove once. Oh, that had to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, that's. I'm all in as, as, as Dennis Miller says, silhouette altering <laughs> yeah. uh, event. Uh, okay. It crapped on my spine. All right. Okay, well, uh, I don't know. 22 hour flight. Would you go to Australia? Singapore. Uh, and it just, yeah, it worked out. It was whew, man. very long. Like to where they actually had like the plane stand up and do exercises. Did yeah. They, like, they re- yeah, yeah. For, Did so they, they refuel? So that we wouldn't. Yeah, we stopped in uh, Hong Kong. Oh, but uh, you couldn't get off the plane. Uh, we did, but I feel like the main flight was twenty. Maybe it was twenty-two hours total. Okay, wow. With, and that's, but that's not counting layover. Now, what I'd like to see is an air an airline that you have to bring your dog. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. I know. I've got a name for it. What? Air Dales. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the acknowledgement there. See, Airedale is a breed of dog, yes, Josh. Of oh, okay. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, all right. Large I'll terrier. Yeah. Look them up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't care 22 you. hours seems like a long time to make that bag of pretzels last. Mm. Like, <laughs> like, do they come back around later with oh, more they pretzels? Got, they we got full meals. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We got full meals for yeah, sure. Yeah, you get yeah. full meals. Slept. Uh, yeah. I I, yeah, I watched. Like a bed? No, but a seat that really reclined. And you can watch but movies. He, he still didn't have time to watch The Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, that's a, that's a long know. movie. Don't know how it ends. Yes. For God's sake. Okay, we know you're a good movie maker. Calm down. Uh. Maybe, maybe make it in pieces. All right, now I want to talk about Mother's Day. Because, uh, once again, who deserves a gift more than all those moms out there? The answer is no one. How about something great from Steven Singer Jewelers? Right now, I've got my eye on that mom over there. It's Christy Lee. She's got that beautiful bracelet on. Yes. What's that called again? It's called At Last. The, the At, At Last, Last bracelet. bracelet. That is yeah. gorgeous. Describe that for me, please. Well, it's beautiful, and it's sterling silver with diamonds all the way around, connected with these beautiful X's, which means, of course, kisses. Kisses, or 10. Yes. Or, or, or you're a 10 and Or Dirty a Movie, one of the two, if you have three of them again. <laughs> Test each other. <laughs> that was a recent uh, Connections uh, clue. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> it's a beautiful bracelet. It is nice. And any woman would like that. And Stephen Singer did not ask me to talk about that. No, he didn't. So what am I doing here? I don't know. Uh, Stephen's a great guy. Speaking of dogs, he's got his dog, Buddy. You can see that on his website, which happens to be IHateStevenSinger.com. And what Stephen is uh, underscoring this time of year, of course, the latest rose, these aren't just roses that are going to wilt. These are 24-karat gold-dipped roses. They're dipped in uh, red wine. No, no, they're dipped in gold, and then they're beautifully enameled with special red wine coloring. That's the new one for the season. If you've been collecting for your mom for years, add the new one, the luxurious red wine, 24-karat gold-dipped rose, exclusively from Steven Singer, starting at just $69.95. Check out Steven Singer Jewelers' entire collection of gold-dipped roses and beautiful bracelets and more at IHateStevenSinger.com. By the way, very important, free shipping. Also, a free personalized gift message from you to those great moms in your life and a free lifetime guarantee. And by the way, if you've got those beautiful diamond earrings and you want to upgrade them, well, you get that full value back from Steven Singer. You get the details. I hate stevensinger.com. You can handle this Mother's Day thing right now. And um, as the man says, get her done. Get it done right now. I hate stevensinger.com. And Josh is sitting at the I hate stevensinger.com sidekick chair. Mm-hmm. When we come back, Neanderthal man in the news and Neanderthal woman. Mm-hmm. Do you go with thal or tall? I say Neanderthal because that's what you guys have told me to do. Data or data? I say data. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Okay, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks very much for joining us. And uh, we're doing kind of a um, musical chairs thing today. And, uh, ex- well, it's actually a musical chair right now because joining us in the studio, we have singer, songwriter, actor, and comedian Stephen Lynch. I throw in the actor thing because you spent a, uh, how did you describe it? Uh, uh, Nine sentence. months in hell. Sentence, was that the word you used? <laughs> Nine months in hell is what I just heard. Uh, you were on Broadway. Do you want to yeah. give us the, the, give those that haven't heard about this the background on uh, the Wedding Singer. You portrayed the, the very popular Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore movie about crazy kids in the eighties. Turned into a very successful theater piece. Very successful. Well, you you did it for a long, pretty long Mildly time. Mildly successful. I mean, it was it was a, it, it was fun. But I have my toe on the trigger pretty much every day of the last <laughs> <laughs> four months of it. Well, I realize I'm making it sound like it was really bad. No, but I mean, it wasn't. It was just it was time to move on. You know. Can you play one of the new ones for us? And 
I think so. Okay. We Uh-oh. just had a little powwow in your producer's well, office we... about what I can and cannot say on the radio these well, days. Well, there have been moments before. <laughs> you think this one's okay? This is. A... I don't know. Okay, well, if it's not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Lynch. This is a song I wrote. Um, I discovered, oddly enough, that... Um, I had a, an uncle, a great, 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 great uncle who lived in the uh, medieval period. <laughs> he pretty mm-hmm. much did for a living what I do for a living. He was both a, a troubadour and a, oh. and a court jester, and I think he used to play in the court of the king and the queen. And, and I discovered one of his old compositions that he wrote for the lute, <laughs> and I uh, transposed it to the guitar. Good, because we don't have a lute handy. No. No. I, I don't either. And, I, uh, I, I like guitar comics, but I hate period. lute comics. <laughs> <laughs> Prop guys and lute comics. <laughs> Those are the worst, just, aren't they? Just, yeah. just hacks. They give us all a bad name. So uh, this is one of his compositions, and I just thought I'd try it for a modern audience, see how it goes over. Come, fair lady, to mine bed we go, and verily sweet pleasures we shall know, yet... Where thy belly meets thy limb, (laughs) I beseech thee, give a trim, (laughs) for thy bush doth overflow. (laughs) (laughs) Milady doth have a 70s muff. (laughs) (laughs) A 1470s muff. (laughs) (laughs) Zounds. It is prickly as a Christmas wreath. <laughs> Think it might hide some baby birds beneath. Pray, shave it off to make a coat. There are fur balls down mine throat, short in curlies twixt my teeth. I sayeth not thy is her suit. Mm. <laughs> but it looketh like thou hast buckwheat in a leg lock. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle was also a very hacky stand-up comedian. <laughs> <laughs> but soft, what hair through yonder girdle grows to be or not to be put in cornrows. Oh, it is beastly and unruly, and it smelleth of patchouli, and that offends my nose. I sayeth not thou art furry down there. But it doth resemble Fidel Castro eating a London broil. Tra la 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 Bravo. Stephen Lynch. Thank you, lords and ladies. Thank you. Stephen Lynch, ladies and gentlemen. What is a lute? A lute is, it looks like a pear-shaped ukulele. Yeah, it goes... Kind of a... Oh, my, well, there's, there's no neck. There's no neck, though. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. guitars. Okay. I think those are yeah. To change an old joke just a little bit, uh, the, the, the best sound a lute makes is when uh, a banjo lands on it in the dumpster <laughs> or an accordion, <laughs> one of the two. Um, uh, I'm sure there's a You're a really anti-lute, lute, man. I do not. <laughs> Hi, it's Josh Arnold from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Hello, you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. <laughs> hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. We're back, as are you. Thanks for joining us. I'm, I'm not here. 
Oh, uh, Tom is not here. Uh, he will be with us presently. Catch my breath. Which, interestingly enough, means uh, coming soon, not... Now? You would think presently would mean present. Right. In the now? present. No, now. no, it's an at present yes. means now. Presently means soon. Thank exactly. you, Josh, for getting oh, that correct. You guys are so smart. Well, lessons, oh, lessons in... In normality, talking. not normalcy, you illiterate morons in the world of... You know, I think oh, believe that, me, you I... Might, I... That battle may have... Maybe over, man. Yeah, you might have lost that I am not going to let the illiterati take over my life. Normality, my yes, friend. Yes, good for you. I'm with you. You say abnormalcy? No. You know why? Because so it's wrong. <laughs> it's immoral. An abnormality. There you go. Thank you. Uh, now, um, I'm almost back. I had to sprint down the hallway here. What were you doing? Um, Pooping? No. No. <laughs> Pooping with spelling? Honest, I was working Pooping on something. Pooping with spelling. Boy, there's a show. Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's, there you go. That's what she should do, interview people uh, from her podcast. Is there a she... podcast where <laughs> it just lasts as long as the dump? Uh, the poop cast? Yes. Oh. I, you know, I bet there oh, is. come on. Probably. Oh, I mean, yeah, there, there probably is. There are nine billion podcasts. Sadly. Uh, yes, there are. Yeah, would you, would be... you mic the bowl? <laughs> oh, no, no. I think you would just, hey, I'm here. With... Oh. All right, we got it. We got it. Never mind. What, you didn't uh, like the sound? No, uh, we have uh, an <laughs> interesting news story about uh, Tory Spelling, and we'll get to that again later. <sighs> Time to move on to a different topic. You what really have you got? catching your breath. <laughs> no, I, it's a long story. Oh, oh, sorry. Sierra Leone's president has declared a national emergency. I apologize for this story in advance. <laughs> regarding the presence of a drug made from human bones. Oh, my. According to the BBC, the unusual version of Kush... A psychoactive blend of addictive substances has been prevalent in the country for years. In this case, one of the drug's many ingredients is ground-up human bones, hmm. leading to increased security at cemeteries to prevent addicts from digging up graves. Holy cow. This makes no sense. G what, what would the... What would the ground-up bones... To add to the drug? Yeah, I don't know. Is this just some weirdo... I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm. Yeah, unless they're Keith Richards' bones, right. you're probably not going to get high from them. Yeah. No. President Julius Matabayo called the drug a death trap and said it posed an existential crisis. Yeah, I got really, uh, really high last night, Josh. I, I smoked Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Wait, uh, you shouldn't have said it that way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that means a totally different. Oh, thing. sorry. <laughs> No, I it, I have never heard of this. No, this no. is nuts. I, I, I mean, could uh, there's a stupid question. If this, could you use animal bones? Well, I guess you could. You could use any kind of bones. There's no effect here. You it's, go, the, no. it's the it's the it's, mixture. Yeah, it's stuff. the other it's stuff like that's the, getting yeah. you, you, you right. go back to your dealer. Hey, man, this isn't human. This is coyote. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't use real. But this, Sierra Leone, they've probably established some sort of oh, creepy rumor that this, this makes like you a, higher. Is this or, like a voodoo thing, maybe? Yeah, exactly. That's what I would think. Wasn't there a, uh, to stay current, wasn't there an a episode of Six Feet Under where they uh, were snorting the person's ashes in the bathroom after the... Oh, really? I, I did not watch that but show. But I don't so think, I, don't to, I think they just mixed it in with their cocaine. There I you go, think. yeah. Well, that... Well, that's... Somebody... There, did there Johnny a, Depp do Keith that? There was, an that allega there was an his, allegation yeah, yeah. that oh, Keith, Keith, Richard. Keith Richard snorted his yeah, father. And didn't right. he deny that? I don't know. He sort of got away from it a little bit. Hmm. But either way, I, I, the... Um, the the uh, active ingredients in any kind of a psychoactive drug, I would assume, wouldn't be the bones themselves. It no, would be, right. it's, it's all made up to make it creepier, hmm. I, I mean, think. Yes. Can you imagine, I mean, digging somebody up, first of all? No. Do you have to have a key not. to open those caskets, or do they open right up? <laughs> I, I don't think you need a key. Yeah, but you I, need a skeleton key. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. All right, next. Hey, we should be a team. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> Uh, I, I wrote a poem. You did? Oh, how about that? <laughs> Fee fi fo fum. I smoke the bones of Sierra Leonean. <laughs> <laughs> be he live or be he dead, his smoked up bones are in my head. <laughs> 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 
I, I, it's Boy, kind of a stretch for Sierra Leone. It's a bit yeah. of a stretch. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm, I'm wondering, is this some kind of a prank? But it's from the BBC. No, I think people are doing no. it. The drugs are the bones have nothing to do with getting high. Right. They're just in there. To, uh, it's sort of a glamorous thing. But I mean... <laughs> What kind of ecstasy, no, that's the wrong word, what kind of pleasure would one get from digging up a body? Well, I... That's horrific. But that's actually not happening. They're afraid that it could happen, so they're guarding the cemeteries. Aren't they getting the well, bones where are elsewhere? they getting the bones, then? I thought, this, did, what does the story say? doesn't say. Oh. Well, that just says it led to increased security at cemeteries, so I assume somebody's been... Digging up bones. Digging yeah, up bones. Bone digging up bones. I and mean, if you're walking down the street or taking the bus toward the cemetery and you got a big shovel with you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, probable cause. Uh, sir, can I help you? <laughs> Are you lost? <laughs> no. Dim bones. Well, that's another good reason to say you're living in the USA. That's all I can say. Authorities in Scotland report an armed man at a train station turned out to be a guy dressed as a Star Wars stormtrooper. Officers responding to reports of a man carrying a firearm at the Aberdeen rail station determined it was a false alarm. The, 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 the full body costume yes. didn't give it away? <laughs> nope. The man known as the Grampian uh, Stormtrooper on social media later wrote in a post he was dressed for a convention when he was questioned by officers. He was escorted home to get a bag for his prop blaster and asked not to wear his Stormtrooper armor on the train. The disgruntled cosplayer said this was the first issue he had had in 10 years and threatened to shut the page down following the incident. Shut it down. No one yeah, cares. no one cares. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, by the way, a Grambian stormtrooper adds a Scottish twist to his costume by... Wearing a kilt? Yep, exactly. Well, that's... Okay, now I can kind of see... Hey, <laughs> should we talk to this stormtrooper in a kilt? Yeah. Make sure he's not a maniac? But also, have you ver if you've ever seen any of the Star Wars movies, none of the stormtroopers have ever hit anything. Yeah, terror right. shots. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's, he, you know, Luke's running away. There's 25 guys with those blasters, and... Pew, 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 pew. Nope. Yeah. Nobody hit him. I need to take some uh, take some lessons here. I wonder, uh, is there somewhere you can get, what's it, is it called the Imperial March? Is that that song? Yeah. Da, 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 that thing with Darth da, Vader. Da, da. On, oh, yeah. On, uh, on my best friend walked into that for her wedding march. What? what? Star Wars weddings were pretty big there for yeah. a while. Probably still are. Really? It wasn't a Star Wars themed wedding. That's just what she walked <laughs> oh. into. That's really? odd. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Really? Yep. All right. Is she a big Star Wars person? or just uh, like And too? I'm not making... Uh, this is... So the minister... Careful, I've, she's I, your best friend, really. Yeah, she was. Uh, <laughs> so the the minister, you know, they before the vows, he goes, uh, he goes, before the vows, I would like to read a poem from uh, Sherry Loggins to her husband, Kenny. Hmm. And he reads this poem from Sher from yeah. Kenny Logan's wife, and I was laughing so hard <laughs> that, like, I was like, did they tell you they were going to read a poem from Sherry Loggins? <laughs> and she goes, no, he surprised us. And I was laughing so hard. People were turning around in their chairs because for some reason that just hit me hilariously. Yeah, how odd. Yeah. That Sherry Loggins poem. <laughs> and they got divorced. Exactly. <laughs> It is rare for uh, somebody's vows to contain the phrase, everybody cut loose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. Nobody worry about yeah. me. <laughs> interesting. That's a weird, that is an interesting oh, it was, wedding it, march. It was an well, interesting as some, wedding. I am licensed, as you know, to perform weddings. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And other than, and it depends what state you're in, there are certain phrases you have to use. Uh, just a handful of them. But other than that, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Have you ever Pretty yelled, much. run? No. <laughs> Have you wanted to? No, no. I'm just kidding. Um, the two that I have officially done, they're both, they're all still married. Okay, so, that's good. So that's a good for, sign. I'm you did two. two. Oh. Yeah, I did one last uh, summer, or did one a couple summers. How's your record going with uh, marriages you've performed at? Uh, the Lighthouse song, I performed at about 22 weddings. They're all divorced. Oh, Every mm -hmm. one of them. Family, couple friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. That's awesome. Early uh, early career, yeah. So mm -hmm. so once again, the, this new story is this guy's dressed as a Star Wars stormtrooper holding a weapon that clearly is not a real weapon. No. It's a... 
It's a stormtrooper weapon. It's a blaster. Right. Now I'm really I'm curious as to what the most unusual themes to walk down the aisle to would be. Yeah. I mean, I I had I thought they were all classical, you know. Da, da, yeah. da, da, here comes the bride or whatever it is. That's not too far off the traditional. You know. Well, that's true. Um, yeah, but it's yeah. it's kind of dark. It's your, I, now, you have been recently married. Yeah, but we... Uh, uh, yeah, but do you remember when we got married, it was very small, just family, the five people, and I had forgotten about the music, and somebody said, are you going to play music? And I go, oh. Did you play that uh, that 400 song, It Feels Like the First Time? No. <laughs> no, my photographer, Tiffany, who's a fabulous woman, she goes, oh, I can take care of that, and she just put something on Spotify, like piano music or something, and hooked it up to their sound system, and it was perfect, but... I so that was like a lovely sermon. <laughs> it was lovely. A lot of thought put into that one. A little bit of, little bit of Liberace. I, told, I totally forgot about music. The but Spotify ad now comes we're gonna, up. Now it's, we're going to serve food. The vending machines are right over there. <laughs> Send me the bill. We were talking about my daughter. Sophie and I were watching a TV show the other day, and the song came on. I go, oh, I walked down the aisle to that song when I married your dad. And she goes, you did? And I go, yes. And she goes, I'm picking better music than that. What song was it? Uh, Paco Bell something. I don't remember. Taco Bell? Paco, Taco Bell. No, Paco Run, Bell. run to the border. Taco's putting no. on the wrist. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be apropos. Uh, yeah. inside, inside, <laughs> inside joke. Wow, is that funny. Uh, that's uh, only a handful of people. Those that get that are, they find that very that's funny. Insane. I see. Uh, okay. Uh, coming up, it's going to be Paco Sexy Bell Time. Sexy Time with Allie Breen. We certainly look forward oh, to yes. this. Um, Wednesday. We have a little bit of Walt Disney World news. I love that place. Uh, uh, me too. We have um, <laughs> Neanderthal or Neanderthal man and woman in the news in an odd way. And um, Are they having sex? Uh, the gray wolf <laughs> uh, in the news. Are wolves having sex? Uh, well, well, I would think because there's right. still a, you know, a lot of wolves out there. Um, yeah, it's an unusual story about, the, about that uh, coming up uh, as well as uh, the drunk naked guy. Um, living in a garbage can. Oh, boy. Uh, we'll find out about the... Uh, Oscar uh, the pervert. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what, uh, what else have you got, Christy? Uh, well, we'll talk about Walt Disney World. A man is suing Walt Disney World after a ferry boat crashed threw him into a trash can. <laughs> According to the lawsuit, Mr. Justin Tripp took the ferry from the main parking lot to the Magic Kingdom theme park. <laughs> Claims he was forced to stand near the back of the boat due to overcrowding. I've done that. Have you guys taken the I've ferry? I've done that. Yes. 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 Yeah. You, you can take the monorail or yep. the ferry. Yep. The suit states that as the vessel approached the docking area, it <laughs> struck the dock, causing passengers to be thrown about. <laughs> Tripp's head and neck struck a steel pillar from the impact, <laughs> and he eventually fell into a trash can. This is, I would, this is funny. Which may <laughs> have prevented him from falling overboard. Though, so it kind of did him a favor. Hi ho, hi ho! It's in the trash I go. <laughs> He's what an idiot! Guess your sea legs, Who buddy. Is this guy, Mr. Bean. He's accused <laughs> Disney of negligence and seeking fifty thousand dollars in damages, or or tickets for two for two days. Yeah, why don't they just give <laughs> him the money? <laughs> I'm surprised that somebody didn't come over, sir. We'd uh, if you wouldn't mind coming with us, we'll we'll, we'll take care of this, and that they just didn't grease his palms immediately <laughs> yeah, right? with lifetime passes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he's going to Baltimore Bridge World. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's worse than what I was going to say. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was my fault. I, I was driving the boat. Um, <sighs> it's not why we're upset. No. No. <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> it's a bridge world after all. Okay, none of these are none of these are sticking or landing. Uh, well, uh, that's been, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all right. What do you got over there, Tom? You know, you got to... Oh, yeah, what? You're they still should, allowing him to speak? They should have had, uh, what's his name? Steamboat Willie driving that boat. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, 50K seems like a pretty low number, actually. I know. Yeah. That, uh, you would think they would just yeah. hand him the check and be done think, with it. I don't it. think the guy was really hurt, I'm guessing. No, he's embarrassed, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, well, again, the, the, you're right, though, Josh. Just give the guy a few free passes. Yeah, you can take care of this in a second. Well, I'll take him to the Hall of Presidents, let him meet Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, did you get some food? I am not a cook. Uh, right now, I'll uh, change gears here. The Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. 
a better help is a really a really smart idea it's a way to access therapy in a much simpler manner because it's done online there are more than 35,000 therapists participating in this program and the way it works is you'll fill out a form a uh, kind of a questionnaire and they'll match you up with a therapist by the way you can change licensed therapists at any time no extra charge and it's about making access to therapy easier more convenient for you so uh, maybe you're uh, looking at um, some issues with your uh, social batteries if you will uh, maybe you want to um, find your social sweet spot well uh, therapy is one of the ways to do just that find out more about yourself through therapy and give better help a try once again it's entirely online so it's very flexible it meets your schedule you don't have to get in your car, drive across town, sit in a room, read highlights for children waiting for your guy or your lady. No, just do it online in the privacy of the place you want to be and where you are. So find your social sweet spot, as I said before, with BetterHelp. Go to BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Do that today, by the way. It'll knock 10% off your first month. Explore yourself with BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. This part of the Bob and Tom Show brought to you by BetterHelp.com. Now, when we come back, we have more fascinating stuff, including a little bit of, uh, a little bit of love advice with Allie Breen and Sexy Time. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. We have a um, punk version of The Way I Am. Why can't you do it? We don't have electric guitars. Oh, I see. We can, um, we can imagine. Can I have to scream, though. Should I back off the mic a little look bit? Look at the engineers yeah, and ask them. Give it a shot. Yeah, okay. Ask, ask they the look like they're the positive. So this is going to be an acoustic version of the punk version of The Way I Am. <laughs> All right. This is All right. Okay. You scream with me, though, I'll so I don't look an idiot. All right. Okay. Right. By myself. Go ahead, engineers. It's Shepard's up to you. not going to like this. <laughs> I'll back off the mic a little bit. You have to imagine this is an electric guitar, okay? I'm, I'm and got you it. come to the show tonight and see us headbanging. <laughs> <clears throat> if you were falling, <laughs> then I would catch you. <laughs> if you need a light, then I find a match. Cause I, Cause I, I love, I love the way you say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Bravo. Who else have you met with this voice that you do? Anybody else? I've met I've met everybody I do except for Denzel Washington. Hmm. He's the one I haven't met. Um, Is anyone I'll, upset by your imitation? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, thanks for bringing it up. Yes, All there's uh, where Kanye had a lot to say. <laughs> But oh, he, really? He's that's, usually so stressful. No, right. <laughs> I'm like, well, did you really count that in him being mad? Just, that was just him being Kanye. Yeah, Shannon Sharp hates my impression. <laughs> he cannot stand it. I'm guessing because it's accurate. <laughs> you know, that, 
That's what I believe. I thought it would. I thought it would bite on. I thought it would make it. And you know the fact that Thannon doesn't like it is just offensive to me. But you know yeah. some people. I hear you. Some people just you know skip skip skip. Uh-huh. skip, skip. Some people just don't like mirrors. Skip. <laughs> and when you see the mirror, you say to yourself, "Do I really sound like that?" And I'm gonna be right there on the other side saying, "Yes, you do." <laughs> <laughs> Shannon hates it, man. It's it. everybody else. I haven't. And Ben Carson had a little bit to say, but, you know, he ain't popping, so whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? he, he, can, he can say whatever. I, I pretty much, that was like my that was like my, it was a character, pretty much. <laughs> he was sleeping. It wasn't sleepy even an bit. impression. I did these little cat hands. <laughs> you know, right. the hand, with the hands like this, yep. and I would turn my face, and so many people would ask me. They'd come to my shows. Can we do the Ben Carson pose? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is actually a thing. Yeah. I didn't think it was a thing, but so I got, so there's people sending me pictures, posing like this. Even somebody sent me a picture of their cat doing it. <laughs> their cat? There was, a, there was a picture of a baby. He was doing it. I was like, I did not know that this obscure impression had so much premise over you all. Uh-huh. I did not know that. Yeah, what's he, is, what is he, like, secretary of something? He may, he may be retiring. Yeah, he's something. He's, something. he's secretary of we, housing. We don't got to, yeah, yeah, you know. We got, <laughs> I'm just, let's get past him. We just, want him. we just want him to have, you know, something really something high profile so you can bring yeah. it back. Back. Oh, okay. I wish, man. You know, he just needs to go fill out an application and work at Arby's. I want to. <laughs> I want to parry you. Have a there. philosophy on uh, doing impressions of people who are no longer with us. Uh, do I? I, do, I mean, yeah. Okay can you that? do Taft? <laughs> <laughs> you William Taft. William Taft. <laughs> no, but my FDR is pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> my sit. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, I morning. definitely sit down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do Teddy Roosevelt, but I do FDR. Yeah. <laughs> he has a back of a chocolate eclair. <laughs> That's one of his famous quotes. <laughs> Jay Farrow is our guest. Essential morning radio all day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Where are you from, by the way? Patterson from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, place. you know, small. Sure. Thugged out town. You mm-hmm. know, it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> people like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How she doing? <laughs> I come home for dinner. <laughs> and Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. (laughs) We want to look good in the painting. Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller from Comedy. Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Fun morning thus far. We got Jeff Oske sitting in for Chick McGee over at the OrangeInsoles.com sports desk. Howdy. I'm Josh Arnold at the IHateStevenSinger.com sidekick chair. And uh, I guess other people are here, too. Yeah, Tom, what's going on? <laughs> no, thank you very much. Um, Whatever. Now, we've uh, covered a lot of ground today. Mm-hmm. Just that a guy suing Disney World because he was on the boat going from the parking lot to the Magic Kingdom and got bumped into a trash can or something. Yeah. Uh, well, it does sound like the, the boat did yeah. kind of. Yeah, prevented him from falling in. He's lucky. Uh, Would you rather fall into a trash can or into the water? Are there trash gators? Trash can. Yeah. Probably yes. gators, yeah. Uh, sure. Trash can. Yeah. Well, that leads to this next story. It does? Yeah. Remember the naked guy? Yeah, in Florida, they've arrested a man who was found naked and drunk inside a garbage can. (laughs) St. Petersburg police officers encountered 35-year-old 
Wiley James Weeks sitting inside a trash can without any clothes on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. This is the, uh, he this reportedly is... smelled of alcohol, Josh, and told officers <laughs> he was allowed to be drunk and disorderly and sit naked in a trash can on the public sidewalk. I like it. This right. is the, uh, the, the Oscar the Grouch <laughs> origin story. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What an idiot. The man was removed from the corner trash can and arrested for disorderly intoxication and resisting an officer without violence. Yeah. He was uh, given a hefty fine. Uh. <laughs> oh. Whoa, it's a garbage bag, folks. Anybody, yeah. anybody, clean up their house? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Very familiar with the. Hefty. He wasn't. He wasn't glad. Yeah. Okay. All right. See. On him. What other brands are there? I'm out of. I'm out of. Oh, uh, you made them. Play. You gotta hand to the guy, though. Why? Well, I mean, at least he was saying in the to the cops, "I got the right to be drunk out of trash." He wasn't driving a car. Yeah, and he was inside the trash can, so you didn't see him naked unless you went and looked in there. <laughs> He's got a cool name, too. Wiley? Wiley James Weeks. Mm -hmm. Wiley Weeks. Wiley Weeks sounds like, it does sound kind of like a superhero. Does it? Yeah, I'll get one of the, what do they call it, the secret identity? You know, the Clark Kent? Mm. Oh, yeah. They, the the yeah. Bruce Wayne? Right. Mm -hmm. Wiley Weeks. Peter Parker, they all have that alliteration. When he's, when he's not naked in a garbage can, <laughs> having just cranked one off at a passerby. <laughs> well, it's kind of like that modern day, remember the old uh, man in the barrel? Like yeah. the naked guy, and he'd have the thinking. suspenders. Yeah. Right. right. But yeah. now you have a trash can right. instead of the barrel. Maybe he was exactly. just looking for suspenders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He wasn't drunk, he was trashed. <laughs> so it's like the bank room. Barely <laughs> registers as human. <laughs> oh. uh, do we know? Um, let me see. Is there, a, is there a picture of this guy? I haven't seen it. I didn't look it up. No. I, I always love the mugshot. Oh, yep. He's white trash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to take part in this. Oh. Well. <laughs> what Where's the drum guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some, for some reason, my jokes don't get that. That's weird. <laughs> that was so funny. I Wait till you hear this one. Okay. An Australian man says he caught a woman defecating on his doorstep recently. <laughs> Ding yes. dong deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, don't forget to set it on fire. Miss <laughs> yes. Lynette Nemo told Yahoo News Australia her husband had returned to their home and stated he just encountered, quote, a random girl doing the biggest poop he'd ever seen at the front door to their home. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> What's going on? Mr. Azanimo said he found the woman with her pants down midway through the act, asked if she was okay. He added, quote, then she says to me in my house, can I have two minutes? He walked back to the mailbox to wait for the woman before she eventually pulled up her pants, grabbed her belongings, and left, Ugh. passing Mr. Nemo with a smirk. The story also went viral on social media. Apparently, he posted a video of the oh. mound that was the left mound. behind. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and the incident was captured on the building security cameras. Something's going on here. Yes. Yeah, I think. Well, yeah, I mean, if you do it in the yard or a bush, it's an accident. But if you do it in the porch, you're making a statement. Oh, she's, <laughs> yeah. trying, she's sending a message of some Oh, yeah. So I don't know if there, 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 there may be They're more to this bad story. Bad neighbors or something. Maybe. Ugh. Or she's a maniac. Yeah. I guess there's always that. Usually the stories in Australia involve animals that can kill you. And typically it's some kind of spider, snake, tarantula, whatever. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's, a, that's a rough. She's, ooh. And she's not even housebroken, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she was trying to, she saw one of the dogs in the yard. You call that a dump? <laughs> oh. This. Yeah. This. <laughs> Are you an early riser? This story is for you. Yep. Apparently... Early risers were also cavemen and cave women, and new research suggests today's early risers may have inherited a faster body clock from Neanderthals or Neanderthals, whichever you say. Study author Tony Capra said, quote, we found that Neanderthal DNA that remains in modern humans due to interbreeding has a significant effect on your body clock. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, if you're if, you, if you're if your relatives way back, way back, are ne are we all part Neanderthal? Do we Neanderthal, Neanderthal? Is that, whatever. Is that just some of us? I don't so, you're saying if people who like to sleep in have a different caveman ancestor? Apparently, that's mm. what they're saying. But I thought we were all from the same. I don't know. 
I always thought the biggest result uh, from a biological standpoint of being related to the Neanderthal was the uh, gifted ones in the uh, front naughty area. What? You think all Neanderthals were... Oh, were hung? Were oh, packing? Yeah, yeah. That's, how they were able to, that's how they were able to maintain the species, you see. Oh, because the giant... Uh, they were see, hung. I would think it would be the opposite. I would think it would be smaller so it's closer to their body so... Not able to be... So a dinosaur hurt. didn't rip it off. Ah, good point. Dinosaurs, of course, very active around Neanderthal. Now, yeah. I'd forgotten yeah. that. I'd forgotten I've read the Bible. Science. I know how it works. Yeah, yeah. I just remember reading that uh, the Neanderthals were never late for work. For no. Some reason. Yeah. no, no, no. Hey, hey, hi ho, hi ho. Oh, never mind. That was, that was the previous draw. What's coming up, Christy Lee? Oh, uh, what do we have? We have a mountain goat stuck and rescued. We have gray wolves in Michigan. We have. Um... In, in the Lower Peninsula. This is a very big deal. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. They... Did you ever have that friend in high school who swore his dog was part wolf? Oh, no. We we used to call certain dogs wolf dogs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wolf look dogs. at that wolf dog. Yeah. I don't know why we said that when we were little, because they looked like wolves. It was popular yes. when we were younger. That, right. And, oh, my dog part wolf. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why? I guess we were just boys, Yeah. and we just thought it was cool to maybe have a... Wolf dog? Yeah. yeah. And we were all reading Jack London. Well... My nerd friends and I were reading. <laughs> <laughs> Never got that cold, though, did it? No, thank you. Know, yeah. yeah. Slice open your dog cold. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> well, if you read the book. Uh, uh, also, coming up, it's going to be sexy time with Allie Breen. This is The Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to The Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. Hi, this is Pat Godwin from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? You don't want to do that. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. This is Todd Berry. Okay. Uh, once again, Todd has just yeah. established yes. that he's not into astrology. And, but he's very proud. Uh, and now I'm going to read an off the you know, news I can, item. I can, right. I can, I, I can back that up. Uh, my numerologist told me that astrology is a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I can, How many times did she tell you? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm sorry. Four, go ahead. This is uh, woman, fried, ate, woman fried ate goldfish amid fight with X. This is in Pasadena, Texas. Authorities say Houston area woman who was burned up at her former common law husband fried their fret their pet goldfish and ate some of them. In front of what? Mm. <laughs> Pasadena, in front of them? Pasadena police say it's a civil matter and no charges will be filed. The seven <laughs> goldfish were purchased together by the couple during happier times. <laughs> <laughs> now, this sounds like it's from the onion. I know. <laughs> it does. I remember when we bought the goldfish, <laughs> how much we in love we yes. were. So Police spokesman Vance Mitchell says the man reported on Saturday that the woman took the goldfish from his apartment. Mitchell says the two argued earlier about some jewelry the man had given her but took back. She wanted the jewelry turned. Oh. So natu the natural, natural go-to response is to eat goldfish. Right. Of course. Of course. Of Officers who were dispatched to the woman's home arrived to find four fried goldfish <laughs> on a plate. <laughs> the woman said she already ate the other three. <laughs> Show him. I mean, you do eat other kind of fish. So yeah, I, I guess, guess. But geez. Stay away from her. I wow. Guess. That's a, uh, yeah, that's yeah. a. Kind of yeah. uh, basic instinct. What was Seven that? Seven uh, goldfish. Oh, the bunny attraction. Yeah. attraction. Yeah. 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 Bunny. bunny. Glad they didn't buy a dog. Well, they she bought the goldfish <laughs> during together. Happier during happier times. times. Oh, yes. Seven goldfish. <laughs> when did they buy the deep fryer? <laughs> 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 uh, next summer at the state fair. I, I tell you, I am single now. This came up. We'll talk about it more later. Uh, <laughs> You don't, I'm sorry. I You're not going to be able to stop me. It's come out. Uh, but I tell you this much right now. I'm trying. I'm trying. I am trying to talk to girls. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm young. I can talk to young girls. You ever? Yeah. You ever looked at a young girl? They're great. They're great. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You ever talk to one? It's no. like torture. <laughs> it's like having a conversation with a baby, except babies don't have dumb ideas yet. <laughs> it's like. It's like if my nephew all of a sudden was misinformed about politics and had dumb dog stories. Uh, I was like, it'd be like I was on a date with him. They don't even know what to say, but I'll get to the naked picture in a second. Uh, I was talking to a girl. We were at a pool, a place that has pool tables. I go, hey, yeah. do you, I go, hey, do you play pool? 
Uh-huh. And she goes, I had sex on a pool table once. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a weird way to say you don't play pool. I don't even, I don't even know how to respond. Was it a league? What is that? How do I go to that? What? I'm glad I didn't ask if she played ping pong. Uh, yeah. Um, but that pictures thing. Yeah, you got to be careful. You send naked pictures. With these you. young chicks, they'll send yeah. naked pictures. Yeah. You can do yeah, it. You, you, very, do. you don't even have to. I was just texting back and forth with a girl, and she's like, hey, I like you know I like you or whatever and you want to see some good pictures. Hey, sure. yeah, semicolon uh-huh. close parenthesis I do. Uh-huh. And uh, and then she sends a few of them. And I'm like, hey, these are these are these are hot. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then she's got short hair in one and long hair in the other. She's they, they just keep them on file like W twos. From now on, send me your boobs and today's newspaper. Uh, yeah, I want to yeah, feel I special. See them today's sure. Yeah. You want to know that they're fresh. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Chalk up when you go, you got to chalk it up. I got the weight belt on. Chicks dig the weight belts. They dig the weight belts with the name on the back. You know, Steve. <laughs> I don't know who Steve is, but he's missing his weight belt. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you were waiting for? That's the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, I like to pump it up. You got to be in top shape because I play golf. You do. You guys know the golf, bit. Oh, yeah. Well, I love golf. I got a lot of golf. I got some new golf jokes. I yeah. play a lot of golf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every hole, like 14,000 strokes. That's a lot of golf. You know what I mean? <laughs> I look like a propeller out there just swinging away. <laughs> I love golf. <laughs> I swing with one hand. I don't even use two hands. I don't care. The instructor is always trying to t- change your grip. Like, yeah, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> <laughs> I hit that ball as hard as I can, walk six feet, and hit it again. <laughs> Every hole I use the driver. Par three, I don't want to see a seven iron. I let the big dog eat. <laughs> I grip and rip it. I got the weight belt on. Steve's playing some golf, baby. <laughs> you give me a golf cart, a 12-pack, and a lake, I'll show you how to have fun all day. <laughs> You ever wonder how far a golf cart can go on a lake before it sinks? You ever wonder? <laughs> 13 feet! <laughs> I love golf. What a sport. It's a good sport. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. 24-7. 24-7. Comedian Matt Weinhold is here with us. I think that we, you should avoid all sort of living with anyone. Even if you're married, don't live with them. Because that'll mess it up. That's what messes it up. Because, like, remember, like, when you're dating, it's so great, it's so fun. You go on these dates, and, you you know, you go and you get coffee, and you see movies, and you talk, and you have this wonderful sex, and it's, I love you, and I love you. And then you go home, and you I love my cable, and I love my refrigerator. I love my life. <laughs> And then they move in, and then they're right in your face. Hi, hi, we live together now. Hi. What are you doing? What are you thinking? How about now? Or now? Or now? How about now? That was yesterday. What about now? Where are you going? What are you doing? Who was that that called? Hi, this is Mike. Talking to the folks at Window Nation about Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. Beck Godwin's in the music room. Hey, Josh. Killing it this morning, my friend. Say it again. You're killing it. Say it again. You're killing it. <laughs> uh, 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 Pat, you're uh, you're going to be mad at me. I got a request in a second, so. There's Jessica Altman. Your hint Hello. is Australian jogger. <laughs> oh, I oh. remember that. Okay. There's uh, Jeff Oske sitting at the OrangeInSouls.com sports desk in for Chick McGee today. Hello. Ace Cosby's there. Hey. I'm Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer.com sidekick chair. And there is Tommy. Well, thank you very much. Um, we just had an unusual story out of Australia, not the usual Australian story where someone gets, they get bit by some weird creature and they die. Oh. <laughs> this is some poor guy gets Came to his home, house yeah. and there's some... Crazy lady pooping in the front. Stoop. Stoop. Um, and he uh, goes, hey, lady, and she goes, give me stoop. two minutes. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, what and he has poop on a stoop. Gosh, I wish I was that confident. Uh. Like, what? You do. <sighs> 
Could you poop out <laughs> on the sidewalk? I no. hope not. I hope I don't have to. I'm sure this, there's a lot going on here. But um, uh, we have a couple other stories out of and this. Maybe have a different meaning in Australia than it does here. Uh, here's the headline from Channel 9 News in Australia. A jogger in Australia has been caught pooping in the community garden. Oh, well. Uh, security cameras <laughs> captured a video of a man pulling his trousers down and defecating in Albert Park. Fertilizers. Um, yeah. Uh, another resident, Shane Whiteley, had just planted the garden and installed security cameras <laughs> to catch plant thieves. She, of course, has shared the footage on X, now formerly Twitter, and noted that there are public bathrooms available right across the road. The incident follows a string of so-called poop joggers caught in the act across the country of Australia. What the hell is going on? Loggers, they call them. Including a, <laughs> including a Victorian woman who was pictured in a stranger's lawn in a place called Gee Long. G-E-L-O-N-G. Gee Long now. Get out of here. <laughs> Gee Long. Earlier this year. So, uh, and she's a woman from Victoria, Australia. Not a yeah, not a Victorian woman. woman. Yeah. Because that would be oh. funny to see her Ooh, running. My <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Pat, did you say you have a song about this? Yeah, we did a song, a little update on the Beatle classic. Uh, here we go. Here. I'd like to be jogging carefree and poop in an Aussie's garden by the street. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use a loo for a little secret poo <laughs> in an Aussie's poopy garden. Watch your feet. <laughs> Hey, look, that's me on security TV. Woo! Won't you take a squat in an Aussie's garden with me? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I'd like to pee. Drop a deuce or three and poop in an Aussie's garden by a tree. <laughs> it would be warm and in a pointed form. Oh. Fertilize your hedges, make some green. We will run and drop some trout. How? Leaving little presents all around. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> hey, look, that's me there on Melbourne TV. Pooping in Aussie's garden by the street. Oh, uh, it's you know, it's so pleasant. It's so, so fun sounding. I, yeah. It almost yeah. makes me pro <laughs> garden pooping. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's you now public enemy number two. Naturally. Uh, of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah, deuce. Okay. You know, I just had to remind myself, oh, my gosh, there are so many people in the world out there just pooping places. Not really. It's just uh, the stories we tend to focus right. on. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's been a big day for that. <laughs> yes. We had, uh, of course, the... We don't need to go over it. Tori Amos story. Tori Spelling, <laughs> not Tori. Oh, yeah, 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 Tori Amos. Amos. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Tori. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Tori piano Amos. stool. Now, Tori Amos is in the story. But, yeah. oh. <laughs> Talk about a piano Tori stool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well... Ms. Alsman has not heard the story. Are you familiar with uh, Tori Spelling, the actress? Yeah. With the sort of Roman nose? Uh, I, I wouldn't identify it that way, but yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wouldn't either, but... She was one of the stars of uh, 90210. And sure. Saved by the Bell. She was on that, too? Yeah, Screech's, like, little love interest. She wore glasses and braids to make oh, her really? look like a geek. Oh, I remember her, yeah. I mean, it's that, that was also a spelling show, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah her dad, very Aaron wealthy. Aaron Spelling brought... Oh, so many shows to TV sure. in, the, in the 70s. Actress Tori Spelling has revealed she cannot defecate alone, Jessica. Okay. Yeah, she disclosed this unusual habit of hers in her latest episode of her Miss Spelling podcast, saying it's been 18 years since she's gone to the bathroom, both number one and number two, by herself. No. She used to do it with her husband when he was around, Dean McDermott, but now... So she'd have to, you know, hey, he's can you gone. put your magazine down? Yeah. I gotta go... Yeah. How weird. Stop He's, what you're doing. I have to go now? It gets like, weird, weirder. Okay. So now that, you know, he, she and Dean McDermott have split up, yeah. her seven-year-old son, Bo, has to go with her. Oh, geez. Yeah. Is it, and it's not because she's worried about him being alone in the house for some reason. No, it's just, no, no. It's no, all for yeah. her. It's, it's all for her. Oh, man. That's, there's something wrong there, right? Yeah. Yep. She's very codependent, she Aww. says. That's Apparently. taking codependency to the next level. But we have our phones. I thought most people, we're never alone with our phones, right? Well, this is so not what she see? needs a human being in there. Mm -hmm. So, uh. You'd wonder if FaceTime face would, yeah, yeah. I, was, I, wonder, I wonder if that would count. I mean, even that's uh, unappealing, of course. Right. But, well, if you're on the other end of it. Yeah. Well, you can't smell. It's not smell. smell I mean, at least there's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still. The faces you make, it's weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like what? You know, if somebody, you gotta if somebody were to FaceTime you on the toilet, you would know they were sitting there? You can tell. You wouldn't answer. Well, I mean, How could you tell? 
Uh, the, there's an echo that the bathrooms have yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah, usually bad art right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typically. I said, you just okay. like super rich people. That, well, there's a Picasso in that in the parlor bathroom. Really? Maybe, yeah. Uh, oh. like the lesser art that they can say uh, yeah. goes in the bathroom. It's, it's just one of his smaller pieces. <laughs> Only $10 million. <laughs> this poor kid doesn't have a prayer. No. Yeah, because now he might develop the habit. So I wonder if that's something that was passed down to her. I, like she I do think this has something to do something. with her, yeah, her upbringing think, in a way because yeah. she was so coddled, probably. She probably had a nanny with her 24-7. She needs to be slapped around and sorted out. That's they all might have. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just slap her around a little. Tom. Yeah. Hey, Aaron, if you want to, you know, you thought of- five across the eyes, maybe would have fixed this chick. <laughs> What'd your therapist say? Yeah, this uh, yeah. around. Oh, okay. Well, I hate to be serious, but, you know, with Aaron Spelling being as rich as he was, maybe he was afraid somebody would kidnap her or no, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a messed up life. It I, has to be. I grew has up scared of toilets. The movie Look Who's Talking to the toilet starts talking and like threatening to bite off the kids, you know, whatever. And I was terrified of that. So I'd always just leave the door wide Boy. open as a kid. Yeah, that does sound scary. Look yeah, who's talking number two. That's what I watched. I never, it. What the is hell? Is that a real that? movie? Yeah. Oh. It's out there. And the what's talking is the toilet? Oh, yeah. He's like, I'm no, going to that No, 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 no. It's just the, it's the kid's <laughs> imagining it. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's okay. It's, yeah. it's a scary thing. So I'd sit on the very edge of the toilet, barely on it, just in case I'd fall in or it would, I don't know, flush me down. Why are you watching movies at that age of that sort? No, no, it's a <laughs> comedy. It was a, it's a, like a, a kid's comedy. movie. Who knew? It was a kid's movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. talking was fantastic. John Travolta, Kirstie Ali. Oh, I didn't see it. Bruce Willis is the voice of the baby. Kirsty mm. Ali. Nobody says it like that. Kirsty Ali. <laughs> How are you supposed to say it? Ali. Kirsty Ali. Kirsty Ali. Ali is she. Uh, uh, Pat, uh, do you have a uh, tribute? To she wasn't originally Kirsty Clay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> do you have a Tory Spelling tribute? I, well, think, uh, I was trying to uh, avoid like it a for a second time. Yes, but uh, I can Float like it. a butterfly sting while you pee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Back to you, Pat. Little Baron Hello, here we go. You know, I can't poop without you, everyone. Can't poop without you. Oh, I can't dump. I can't crap. Unless you sit on my lap. Hold my hand or I can't go. Come on. Not even a squirt, let alone fill the bowl. Oh, me and you. As I go number two, I just can't poop without you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Barry. Sorry, Barry. <laughs> Had to be done. Uh, well, um, that's Dingleberry Manilow. <laughs> Dingleberry oh, nice. Manilow. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and she uh, announced this. That's the other thing. I mean, if if you did have this proclivity, wouldn't you just keep it to yourself? Maybe it's I mean, her way of starting the conversation. Yeah, maybe. I, we she don't know the context. Maybe the she attention. said, hey, is anybody else that, all, out there like yeah, this? Yeah, I think we live in a culture in which she wants people want the attention. all the attention. She wants, yeah. She's getting it. It's her podcast. It's on her podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say, oh, if somebody's doing a podcast because they want attention. Well, no, she, that's why they're doing a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> right. This made her go viral. Did you know she was doing a podcast? No, of course I not. didn't. But that, I also, do. I don't, just because I heard this story, I'm... Oh, I got to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> but some will, for sure, Christy. You raised yeah. a good point there. Coming up, it's going to be sexy time with Allie Breen. But yeah. uh, first, oh, you have anything else over there? An escaped mountain goat was rescued after getting stuck under a bridge in Kansas City. The animal was spotted hopping around on the bridge's support pillars after Monday's eclipse. When responding, firefighters tried to rappel down. The animal got spooked, slipped while trying to jump onto another platform and got caught on a rope. Tori Fugate of the KC Pet Project said firefighter, firefighters managed to create a slack line allowing the goat to fall 15 feet onto a padded area on the ground. Oh. The animal, believed to be a missing goat named Chug, survived the oh. ordeal without any broken bones. <laughs> Little buddy. I thought the goat in Kansas City was Patrick Mahomes. For sure. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. It was kind of a sweet story. Yeah, you sanitized this. I'm, I, I, that's very very good. Very well written. <laughs> the uh, poor little goat. Yeah, the poor little goat. Because uh, I would assume if you see a loose goat during a total eclipse, it was supposed to have been sacrificed. <laughs> right. Yeah. They, 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 they forgot the, uh, you know, that scene at the end of Apocalypse Now where they 
Oh, animal. geez, yeah, they yeah. really do slaughter a bull or whatever. The yeah, they really do that. Kind of a wildebeest. I wonder how many times they had to do that. Okay, take two. Bring in the next one. <laughs> Boy, well, I'm oh. glad this missing goat was found. I, I, I saw a picture of it on yeah? my carton of goat's milk. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I was happy very good. That, yeah. uh, happy that I heard he couldn't chicken. answer, and he couldn't answer the trolls' three questions. Yeah, oh. <laughs> you, know that, you know how that works. Sure. I can't hear you. Come down here. <laughs> uh, well, uh, well, now coming up, it's going to be sexy time with Allie Breen. I certainly look forward to that. Sex. Right now, I, I want to talk a little bit about some uh, changes at HelloFresh. They've got some great springtime stuff, of course, but also they've upped the uh, up the ante here. They have uh, ready in 20 recipes, a lot more of them. What I'm talking about is uh, the kind of thing you can throw together very quickly and have restaurant quality food. You can whip it up in 20 minutes or less. So how does it work? HelloFresh does the shopping. They go to the grocery store for you. They give you a recipe with photographs and telling you what's what and what goes where. And they've already measured it all out for you. So you make a great restaurant quality meal. What are you looking at right now, Chris? Well, you were talking about in 20 minutes or less. And we brought this up a little earlier today. Salmon limon with couscous, Italian herbs, and zucchini mm. ribbon salad. Yep, you throw this together. It's a very easy recipe to make. It's ready in 20 minutes. And it looks as wonderful as it sounds. That's right. Salmon limon with couscous, Italian herbs, and zucchini ribbon salad. A lot of people might be intimidated by making couscous, but nope, not with HelloFresh. They've done all the work for you. Now, here's the mm. other interesting aspect of this. If you're a dessert person, HelloFresh has a new thing out there now. A free, uh, free dessert for life. And uh, I'm talking about uh, gooey lava cakes, uh, a cheesecake that can only be described as being decadent. Uh, they've also got lots of great comfort food. So uh, find out what it's all about just by checking out the website, HelloFresh.com. And go to HelloFresh.com slash BTS How Sweet to take advantage of that free dessert for life. Once again, it's HelloFresh.com slash BTS, like Bob Tom Show. HelloFresh.com slash BTS How Sweet. One free dessert in each box. For life, keep that subscription active with HelloFresh. When we come back, we'll get fresh with Allie Breen with Sexy Time. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Awkward situations. I feel like um, recently in D.C. I, I threw up in the street, uh, which isn't a, a big deal. That happens. I'm a pretty heavy drinker. But uh, <laughs> what was different about this time was as I was about to throw up. You know, when you're when you're yeah. just starting to come up, I made eye contact with a woman sitting outside of a Starbucks. Yeah. And then I held eye contact as I vomited. Oh. <laughs> so oh, it was just very amazing. awkward because she just saw me kind of look over at her and then go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I mean, did what's you, going uh, on in her reality? You know, does she, she you, wants uh, to watch that? Did you get her didn't get her number? I did not get her number. <laughs> no, no, I'm afraid. <laughs> what does she go home no, and say? You. I was so ugly today. I made a man vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to think that. You know. <laughs> so I had to go over and tell her it wasn't the man, case. That's a bad hair day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, if, you're, if a man looks at you and vomits, <laughs> that is a bad day. You need you need to visit your hairdresser <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Uh, T.J. Miller is a self-esteem killer. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I, get, yeah, I, I get into stuff like that See, all I'm the time. Yeah, I'm a sympathy monitor. I would have, if he had made eye contact with me, I would have. I would have me too. You would vomit also? I would so join when, you. Yeah. So when you smell vomit, oh, oh, yes. you immediately oh, vomit. Oh, well, say let's, goodbye. Let's, let's, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, we've covered soiling ourselves and vomit. vomiting. In the what show. next? All right, yeah. let's go into pussy lesions. No. <laughs> no, Bob, that's wrong in the script. It's not pronounced. Pussy. <laughs> there you go. You don't want to that way. I know it looks that way wow. on the page. Yeah. You know, if you read that wrong at the uh, audition, yeah. wow, that's a different movie. Yeah, well, what's entirely. This, Mr. Abrams, I don't it's understand. It's closer to a Mr. Skin film. Yeah, yeah I think so. I would say. Oh, yeah. So, uh, now, were you a big drinker in college? Yeah, I yeah I, I, I in college I think I, I I drank a little bit more than I, I do now. I, well, whenever. I, in college, whenever I drank, I would pass out. It was like my thing, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how people knew me. Mm -hmm. uh, pass out guy. Yeah, it got to the point where even before I went out, I'd go ahead and draw a dick on my face. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna happen. It was gonna eventually. happen. Yeah. Your buddies were gonna take care of it anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just take it right. Oh boy, you know. Yeah. It, Why wait? It, was, right. it really is something else. I see. I don't. I, I'm really. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not. Oh, that's because it, first of all, what do they think it's gonna help? me? You know, they yeah. think years from now I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be saying, yeah, I got really bad. You know, I was just 
drinking all the time, passing out, and then uh, one day I woke up, looked in the mirror, and I was like, TJ, get it together. <laughs> I owe it all to Steve and his artistic ability to draw a ball sack on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or anytime excuse me are um are you serious with it i mean why are you doing this me uh, the real me is right here i could easily be doing this we we don't need you man i uh, look there's only room for one of us <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show, and uh, it's pretty much time for one of our favorite moments of the week, and I think one of America's favorite moments of the week, where we do some real positive work, some, so we help a lot of folks, Tom. <laughs> we try. Yes. I yeah. can't guarantee the quality of the work. I think our success rate um, our, our guest, of course, is a comedian, the lovely Allie Breen. And uh, the, uh, show yes. is, the show is called Sexy Time. Wearing a silly propeller hat today. <laughs> yeah. Goofy, yeah. Oh. That's what it looks like. It's yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the ceiling, the ceiling <laughs> fan hat. Oh, oh, it's a ceiling fan. Yep. Okay, where are you, yeah. Allie? Where are you? Was, I'm in Florida. All right. Is, are you at a, is this your uh, Airbnb or whatever? No, I'm actually staying at an Airbnb and doing, like, some last minute stuff with our Airbnb, which we're selling, and then looking at other places, just doing a bunch of stuff. Okay. Gonna horseback ride a little bit. Congratulations right. on okay. selling that. It's got that's gotta be kind of the dream, not necessarily the plan, but like a good pivot, as they say. When mm. yeah. Hey, somebody wants to take yeah. us off our hands, let's do it. Now, uh Allie, yep. last week you hinted uh that you might be uh getting a uh, OnlyFans account organized. Um oh, yeah. it's pretty much all I heard about in the past week um, from uh, when we Listeners. were in West Virginia, a number of uh, gents walked up to me and said, how do I sign up? Do what you can, ah. do, to, do, what you can do to make this happen. That sort of thing. <laughs> Asking you to really yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Like you have control over that too. Uh, no, no, I'm just I saying. I love that. Apparently it's, um, uh, if you don't, it's money on the table, as Josh likes to say. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, and, and again, I'm doing it. I'm not kidding. I I signed up. I actually I have a site. I started putting stuff up there, but I don't know exactly what or how much to put up there. So if people want to sign up, I don't even know how to do the link. It's like I'm Ali B on there. A L L I B. Yep. That's is it, how people, people find up, you. Is there a space after the uh, last I? A L L I space B. Is that it? Nope. I think it's all in one. It's like like a lib. So you what you <laughs> you'll go to OnlyFans. And in the search, put uh, at, or you can just put A-L-L-I-B. OnlyFans, you have to be very specific. You can't just put Allie Breen and it'll take you to her site. Ooh. You have to, you, you have to put. Yeah, it's actually a little hard to maneuver. It's, mm. yeah, it doesn't find That's not you. people easily. Yeah, sorry. Have you put anything up, but is there anything up there yet? <laughs> yeah, I put like four, I put a few photos up and one or two videos. So it's active. Some more stuff to do. But, oh, did you find it? No, I'm just asking you. It is. Yeah, active. I did. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have some kind of bikini photos. I have one all nude photo, but it's kind of posed, so you can't really see anything. What? But you can see maybe a little bit of butt crack, and then uh, I'm going to move up from okay. there. See how brave I get. <laughs> oh. All right. So there you yeah. go. Oh, okay. I swear, I'm watching every movie with every actress. I've seen everyone fully naked at this point, so I really don't see. I'm in a bikini on Instagram all the time, anyway. So I don't see why not. Okay. Well, in the meantime, uh, we are here as a public service to help people with their love lives. Let's get to our first letter, Allie. What have you got? Dear Allie, I snooped my boyfriend's phone when he fell asleep before me the other night. No. Oh. And I found a bunch of, I've never heard this said this way, testicular text on his phone. None of them were his. How do I bring this up, and what does this wait, mean? Wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait, so what? are these texts that he is receiving, or From are these guys? texts that he's sending yep. out? So these aren't... Sounds these... like he's receiving them. Oh, he's, he's a gay man. I mean, <laughs> any, no. if guys... any dude has just just nuts on their phone... Yeah. That's, you know, that's a very specific... Is, right. that a, is that a thing in the gay community, just sending well, maybe, their nuts? Maybe, oh. not, maybe not necessarily in the gay community, but this is his thing. He likes the... He prefers the uh, boys to the, the man. <laughs> or just nuts. The, uh... Oh, my gosh. Is it a practical joke I've that never... maybe his friends just like to send him random... Uh, you wouldn't say. Yeah, but you don't save them. Yeah, if whenever Josh sends them, I immediately erase it. Maybe in a text it. scrolling message, like maybe that way, or Still. he saved them in the gallery. If he saved them in the gallery, oh, that's... Oh, no. Even if they're on his phone at all, they're... Or maybe he's it's, it's not called, his It's others. not called scrolling. It's called scrolling. <laughs> uh, here's, what, here's what you do, ma'am. You uh, Next time you guys are going to, you know, you, you know it's going to get intimate, you take uh, some of those truck nuts... And you put them in your underwear. Yes. And if he completes immediately when he yeah. sees them, yeah, you know who you're You may want to move on. <laughs> yeah. He may be a very fine man, but uh, right, right. if you want to continue him. Yeah. He, he, he's That's odd. Okay. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. You know, this is why you shouldn't snoop. Sometimes ignorance Oops. is uh, moronic. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, this is weird. I'm, and I don't yeah, know, I've never the, heard this before. I, I've heard of the, the, the so-called d pics. I didn't realize that. I guess would these be called T-picks? or I guess Testy so, picks. yeah, or B-picks, yeah. Testy oh, okay. picks Wow. Wow. I, I guess I, everyone these. has a fetish. Sure. Ooh. Yeah. There's probably an OnlyFans page for that, I'm guessing. Probably. You know, though, when I, used balls. To, when I lived in California, <laughs> <laughs> someone just started. <laughs> when I lived in California and I used to surf, there was a manager that I met with out there, a comedy manager, and she lived across from a surf spot, and she said... These guys were really like jacked who were surfing. She said after they take off their wetsuit and they're walking with their towels around their waist, she said sometimes the wind lifted up and you can see their testiculars. So wow. to speak. So it excited her. Oh, she likes seeing them. Wow, that okay. That's what she said. Yeah, she was looking for it. I was like, I've never heard anyone get excited yeah, I mean, about that. She needs to watch Mexican it, TV, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he were if he were sending them out. He would have what a gallery of his own, but if these are these are Coming incoming in. and apparently all different shapes, sizes, colors, whatever. <laughs> Fascinating. Sounds like there's yeah. a few. The man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't man know. Likes what he likes. He's a nutcase. <laughs> <laughs> By definition, yeah. I think. Uh, let's move on to our next letter here in the Bob and Tom program. It's Allie Breen and Sexy Time. What have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, my brother just married into money, and now he thinks he's better than me and my entire family. I agree with. He him. might be rich. <laughs> he might be rich, but he's married to a real uggo. Do I tell him this and put him in his place? Yeah, uh, he knows. 
Yeah. He knows he's married to an Algo. He married her for her money, not for yeah. her looks. And that's why he brings up the money. Like, it doesn't matter because she's rich. Yeah. And I'm richer than you now. Oh. Aww. He's just rich now, so he can put a, a coach bag over her head instead of, the, <laughs> instead of a paper bag. <laughs> Uh, so what's the question here? Does she tell him and put him in his place? Oh, no. then he just start attacking. <laughs> don't you don't need to do that. Start use this to your advantage. Say, hey, hey, bro, I really want a new uh, yeah. handbag yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I want these new shoes, but yeah. I can't afford them. That'd be nice. My birthday's yeah. coming up. Yeah, no joke. Yeah, don't make him mad. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, rub, it, uh, rub it in your face, though. That just like. Uh, oh no no no! That's that what me. if I'm ever considered rich, that's all you'll hear about. Well, <laughs> you know? your top hat, your oh, oh, dude, oh, I can't wait. Uh, okay. Uh, well, once again, we're speaking with Ali Breen, who is now on uh, OnlyFans at A L L I. B. Oh, it's going to be huge. Uh, we'll see how that goes, Allie. Um, and uh, she's also... Yeah, people have to tell me what to get up there. I'm not. I'm still not sure exactly what the post is. Allie. Are, so you're are. taking requests. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll text want. you a list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, let's see. The no, first, it's going to be awesome. The first sentence starts yeah. with T. Because you're going to... You're also going to... The second one starts, second one starts with... B. But you're also going to get guys who are going to go, hey, I, I just really want to see your armpit. Or, hey, let me see the back of your knee. It's just stuff that you can take a picture of in two seconds and make 50 bucks. Yep. That's fantastic. Exactly. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Well, why don't you do this, Josh? Thank you, Josh. You have, I don't, you have armpits. I don't know if there's a, an interest in oh. me. I, you know, if there are enough gay men or women who want to see different parts of my body. Well, put it up there and see. Well, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe you and Alec, it can, is it possible to? We'll do uh, it this week in OnlyFans, Josh. Can is you do it a possible tag to? Team? Uh, can you do like a two, like a tag team, like, a collab? <laughs> there is a like, collab, but I, I have to be like fully, like you have to get my like tax information and stuff for oh. me to be in one of your videos. Like oh. I, so oh. like, yeah, they, uh. like they really make sure you, that you call like crack attack. Uh, this, uh, yeah, yeah. Josh, Josh over here, Allie. What crack is that? And it turns out it's Allie's elbow. And, and, and you, you've been suckered into putting your butt up there. Hey, yes. I didn't know you could do your elbow crack. Allie, I found you. It's very tasteful. Very, you're very nice. Oh, good work. Good. Oh, thank you. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. What Osman means, listeners, it's into. filthy and, and uh, gratuitous. Yeah. I, mean, you can, I mean, it's it's hot. Yeah. So you can take That's requests. That's what I'll be moving into. Okay. okay, well, let's get back to our letters. Can we help anybody else? Dear Allie, my boyfriend chews with his mouth open and uses his fingers to push food onto his fork when he eats. <laughs> he also watches TV during dinner rather than talking to me. How does a grown man behave this way, and how do I fix it so I can actually introduce him to family and friends? Uh, oh, fix, oh, fixing a man, fixing a man is not easy. Is that correct, Christy? Lee? No, you can't fix a man. You have to. You live with it or you don't. I mean, what kind of psychos don't watch TV during dinner? <laughs> we don't have a TV watch during dinner. Oh my gosh, we are on a couch in a recliner watching are you Jeopardy. Kidding? Oh, absolutely. God no, we have sit. We sit at the. Table? Yeah. And the I talk like a good, like hard-working no. American. That's we right. sit at the dinner table. Dinner table. He every listens night, to me talk 30. for an hour up until dinner, and then we eat and watch TV. All right. Well, that's never mind. You watch yeah. Jeopardy? Well, oh, yeah. yeah, Wheel of Fortune. That sounds kind of nice. That's a good little hour right there. Yeah, it is a good hour. When man, did you turn smart. 75? Oh, about five, year, five <laughs> years ago. Good Lord. <laughs> I, I, we don't, I don't think we can fix, I don't think we can help here. This, this is. He's not going to change. No. Maybe have him grow a really long mustache. That way you can't see him eating oh. with his mouth open. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I thought maybe a lot of soup. It's like curtains. <laughs> yeah. Well, they just replaced the chewing with slurping. You can suggest. You I, have to be able to teach someone to not honey, chew with their mouth open. Yeah, yeah. honey, please. It's Maybe it's take a, not secretly take a video of him and play it back and go, this is what you look like. That's a good point. If you start eating with your mouth open really like obnoxiously in front of him, it'll gross him out and be like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Isn't this awful? Yeah. Don't yeah. do it. I had a friend who was a really bad drunk and someone uh, took a video of him and it cured him. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm still drinking a little. <laughs> Thank you. He's not totally cured. He just got back. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have time to move on once again. Uh, it's uh, it's Allie Brain now on OnlyFans at Allie B A L L I B. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, up yeah, she wants some suggestions, fellas. It's up to you, ladies. Poor ladies. Go for I just said that. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's uh, once again sexy time. Is the show. What else have we got? 
Dear Allie, I met my wife at a bar. We both worked hard during the week and then partied hard on the weekends. Now we've been married for three years and she's still getting blackout drunk every Friday and Saturday night. <laughs> when I told her we need to grow up, she said, I can just stay home and be boring and she'll go party without me. <laughs> How do I get her? <laughs> How do I get her to mature? Get her you... pregnant. Sorry. Yeah. Do you know how long I've looked for a woman who will go out on the weekends and let me stay home? Oh, my God. Delightful. Do not look this this gift horse in the mouth. Well blessed, my friend. Oh, man. Oh. That sounds awesome. It does. Yeah. <laughs> So all of her friends party hard, too, and she just goes out with them and keeps up. So, yeah. She'll end up going home to somebody else's place, probably. Well, then his problem Well, maybe solved. they can do one night and one night. Maybe they can have one night where they're home and mature and one night where she goes out and parties. Uh, yeah. That's wow, don't give a logical compromise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why what don't, was I thinking? Why don't they go out on a date night one night and then the other night is I got night. it. I figured it out. Um, a an OnlyFans page, but he only shoots her when she's intoxicated. And she can be talked into anything. Oh, dude. Well, that's, start oh, ca- geez, you start that's, cashing in. That's, <laughs> talked into anything. Yeah. yeah. A little yeah, out yeah, little, yeah. Little, but, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe the you can find him at <laughs> <laughs> Wannabe Cosby <laughs> on OnlyFans. <laughs> Uh, want to be Pete? Did he want to be anyone at this point? Wow, out there. <laughs> Once again, extraordinarily helpful today. We have time for one more letter. Allie, what have you got? Dear Allie, I have a close-knit group of friends from high school. There's about 10 of us who are really close, almost like family. I just found out that two of them who are married to other people are having an affair with each other. People in the group uh... think it's fun and cute. I don't know what to do about it. I'm actually friends with their spouses. Should I get in the middle of it? Should I say something or mind my own business? Mind your own. Look, you're a good person, okay? Your heart's in the right place. Do not get involved. No. Let right. them work this out. Uh, They'll figure it out. Somebody if you're can. totally uncomfortable with it, just don't go out. I mean, that's a tough thing yeah. to say to somebody who's yeah. this is all their friends. Hey, don't go out with them, but don't get involved. Yeah. 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 Let it play out. Yeah. That it's not going to end well, Wait I can second, tell you I, that. I, the theme to the, today's show is cashing in. Uh, maybe get some really high-quality pictures and uh, blackmail them. <laughs> blackmail them. You're right. You could always blackmail them. You'll lose your friends, but you'll make some money. Yes, especially if one is married to that rich guy in the earlier letter. <laughs> get, some, get some serious coin here. Uh, okay, I think I spoke too soon. We have time for one more letter, Allie Breen. What do you got? Dear Allie, me and my husband talk dirty all the time during sex. We love it. Really sick scenarios, like I'm his high school student and he's the teacher and I need him to give me an A. Recently, we were dirty talking about having a threesome and he brought up our real babysitter as the third. I flipped out and accused him of being actually attracted to her and he doesn't get it. He says this is just what we do. All of our scenarios are messed up and pure fantasy. Now things are weird. I don't know what to do. I don't get how he doesn't get it. Should you I stay him. mad or forgive him? Uh, you forgive him. You yeah. you no. You don't even forgive him because he didn't do anything that needs forgiving. Yeah, right. Yeah. Bring up your mom in the next one. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but you you have uh, you broke this. You broke the rules of this. Yeah. Whatever yeah, you, had, yeah, got, yeah. you guys had going on. You well, ruined it. Why yeah. do you bring up a real person? Like you could say a celebrity or some stranger. But well, that see, is that's the, that's the old that's the old sort of Playboy magazine thing where. I believe it was was it Hustler that came around and they so one of them had the girl next door yeah. because the 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 women in magazines like Playboy were they sort of looked untouchable and mm-hmm. unattainable. Right. But when they had the, you know the girl next door, it was oh yeah I could oh, look at look at this yeah. I could get that yeah. yep yeah I could that's something I could get into yeah so uh, I, I, maybe that's the taking the fantasy that work yeah be confident well, just then, she's the one who made it real well, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah. he he, he know he loves you he's with you okay I, just I think a confident. lot I think a lot depends on how old the babysitter is <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't even think about that I just it depends. The age. Yeah. She's 18, of course. 18 and a half. Yeah. Just for good measure. Well, Big now girl. you ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Allie, good luck with your house sale and your OnlyFans. Yeah, and it's it's Allie, A L L I, Allie B. Yes, Christy has her hand. Yeah. So is your boyfriend okay with this whole OnlyFans thing? Yeah. 
He's going to help. He's like, I'll help take pictures. He's like, yeah. He's keep reading about how much money people are making and how we're huh? like, why not? Okay. Literally, I've seen every actress, Kim Kardashian. I think everyone who's famous at this point basically made a sex tape. So <laughs> like, why not get in on the game? There you go. All there right. are quite a few Ali B's out there, I will say. So you, your bio is adorable and sweet. So that's how you know it's her. Plus, uh, dad ass is, is very nice. So good job. Is there a, is there a photograph on the <laughs> on the you. on the search thing you're are looking at? Are there a few Ali B's? There I don't are. know if I should change it. No, I mean oh. they, nobody can have the same handle as you. So your handle is A L L I B. That's okay. that's okay. that's yours. Exactly. Yeah. You just googling yep. it without joining or signing up right now. There are several. Like one of them. I don't think you're a sub or a slave. So <laughs> I am what? not. That's no, not exactly. you. But Although I bet there's a guy right now. Me. There's a guy right now who's grabbing his handle. <laughs> Unless people request sub and oh, that's great. We'll, yeah, we'll see how. Well, good luck, Allie. We'll be we'll, we'll be uh, checking in with you next week. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll give you an update. Thanks, Bye, guys. See ya. Once again, it's A L L I B R E E and Allie Breen. If you want to send her your love troubles, and uh, right now, how about body troubles? Your body aches. Your feet are hurting. Maybe it's just your knees that are hurting. How to fix them? Well, you start right down at the bottom with orange insoles, right, Josh? That's right, Tom. There's a good chance that if you have discomfort in your back, hip, or knees, it's because you have a weak foundation. That's not on you. That's on the liners that are in those shoes you got. Those are no good. Why not up your game, as it were, with your foundation by going to orangeinsoles.com. Get some true support because orange insoles offer arch support and a deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and therefore your whole body, helping to alleviate some of that discomfort and pain. Think of a table. If it's wobbly, it's because it doesn't have proper support. You need proper support. Maybe you work on your feet all day. Heck, I mean, we sit for a living, but we're up and about. Sure. We have the orange insoles. Great for work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, you name it. Find the right fit for you when you go to the insole quiz at orangeinsoles.com. Answer a few questions. They'll get you hooked up with the correct size and depth. No cutting required, by the way. These insoles are already true to size, so keep those scissors in the drawer. Head to orangeinsoles.com today. There's free shipping. That's right. Plus, orange insoles come with a 60-day we-want-you-to-be-happy guarantee. So there's nothing to lose here. Give them a shot. They may just be exactly what you require. That's orangeinsoles.com. Feel better, do more. Thank you very much, Orange Insoles. And they, of course, are sponsoring the uh, Jeff Oske sitting in for Chick McGee, orangeinsoles.com, sports desk, and chair. You're welcome. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24-7. Get all the info in the VIP area at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Joining us in the studio now, we have uh, Dr. David Wolf, astronaut. And uh, he and Christy are making out. They're, they're Welcome not. back to Earth, sir. Uh-huh. Well, hey, David, how are you? Thank you. Dr. Wolf is wearing a NASA golf shirt. Very cool. Of course cool. he is. <laughs> no, you can get those at gift shop. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, uh, that's no big thing. Dr. Wolf, it's a great pleasure to see you, and glad you're back. The Wolf Man! <laughs> Thank you, Tom. It's nice to be back on Earth. So, um... Yeah, what'd you do on your summer vacation? Oh, really? You... You, out of space, huh? You win. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that is kind of a... You do have that kind of conversation trumper. Uh-huh. Well, we got back from the vineyard. What'd you do, Dr. Wolf? Uh, I was in outer space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pretty cool. Took a few spacewalks. Uh, yeah. I added a piece or two to the International Space Station. You, you added a whole porch, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, that's did. what I thought. Uh -huh. Did some maintenance on the port solar array wing. Needed some new batteries. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. Mm-hmm. Now, if, if you go to our website... Why do you need a porch in space? Well, where are you going to sit and rock? Where are you going to sit and rock? Two of the guys, bang. Uh, two of the guys the smoke. smoke. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to go outside. <laughs> hey, 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 don't light up in the space station. <laughs> Get out there this on the why, smoking port. This is why That's Bob's not an astronaut. <laughs> this is why <laughs> David comes in here. So we can't make fun of this. You can't, you can't oh, smoke no. in space. No, I was thinking about that this morning. Of course not. Why we're not astronauts. Possibly, theoretically, couldn't they, an astronaut who smokes, couldn't they fill his helmet up with smoke so he could smoke? I, I think it could. There probably is some technology yeah. which would yeah, permit. 
There you go. Yeah, but it still can't escape from the suit. <laughs> Honest, <laughs> serious, <That's> true. <laughs> the and snout, your clothes would really you guys smell. Are, you guys are NASA launching again probably tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. To, I haven't heard this morning. I, uh, we were on time uh, as of last evening still. There, the the, the concern is that the, that the uh, there's some thunderstorms yeah. may come in and delay the fueling. Mm, summer in Florida, it's tough to get off the pad, as we did. As you know. <laughs> yeah, you did. Now, that was actually my first question. I wanted to know. You, you have to get um, dressed each and every one of those times. <laughs> How long you, does it take to get into the, the suit and everything? Ready for it's lunch. a pretty big ordeal. It takes three or four hours, to, you know, from getting up and then out to the pad, and you know, it's uh, two million pounds of cryogenic oxygen and hydrogen. You get up on top of that, uh, the countdown goes, and then it's a few hours to get out. It's a big deal, but it's harder on the cooks and the friends and the family. You know, we go to work whether we go to space or go to Earth, right? But everyone else has traveled and they want to see a launch and. It's a lot of trouble yeah. to turn around. Our guest is Dr. David Wolf, astronaut. If you go to our website on the left side, you'll see uh, a uh, photograph of Dr. Wolf. Did you take this one? Were you holding your hand out? The uh, long arm? Is this what, is you with your arm or one of your buddies take Better. care? Nobody up there want to take a picture of you, Dave? <laughs> it, 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 it looks like that's you're... Big no, that's somebody shooting through the hatch uh, uh, when I'm okay. getting ready to go out on a spacewalk. Uh, okay. I'm in vacuum in there, ready to go out. Okay. And, uh, and if you click... through the window. If you click there, we have a uh, uh, sort of a... Uh, the whole set of photos there, and you can see Dr. Wolf floating around in space. We'll talk about some of these when we come back. Um, I'm curious, how long does it take you to get into the space suit that you're going to use to do a, a walk? The suit, you, you spend the day before checking it out like a spacecraft itself. The next morning, you spend two or three hours getting in before you get out through the hatch. About three hours. Wow. And don't you have a series of mirrors in your uh, passenger car here at home where you can drive laying on your back? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just to make you feel, comfortable? feel more comfortable upside down? Oh, more upside wow. down. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh? Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give him a shot. Great. See All you right. later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! Ba -da -ba -da -da -ha -ha. I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh! Josh! Da -da. Did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific! <laughs> See you a... later! <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Liberal uh, brethren, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I admire yeah, you for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Try not to put your foot in your mouth, mm. unless you're a stripper and it's part of your show. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, 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 where, where are you hanging out? <laughs> the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I guess, you know, if you're born without a vagina. <laughs> Comedian Greg Fitzsimmons is joining us in the studio. You're a New Yorker, huh? Yeah. How's that going? New York's good. Not bad. It's, uh, it's a strange place because no matter where you work or what you do, you come in contact with freaks. <laughs> you know, I, like I, I, grew, I worked at a gas station for a couple of years, and the guy I worked with, 
Strange man, former porno movie star from the 70s. Really? Yeah, he'd get confused every time he'd fill the tank. Halfway through, he'd pull it out and spray it all over the car. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we lost a lot of good pets. Uh, Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. It's birthday. Hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. And there's Jeff Oskey at the OrangeInsoles.com sports desk filling in for Chick this morning. Yes. I'm Josh Arnold at the Steven Singer Jewelers sidekick desk. And I want to tell you, right now, the 24-karat gold-dipped rose and red wine is now available. Steven Singer Jewelers 24-karat gold roses, the number one gift for Mother's Day. Get her a new red wine rose exclusively and only available at IHateStevenSinger.com. Tom, what do we have, uh, some edu education to uh, spread? Of course. <laughs> we have uh, some happy birthdays. One of them is going to be one of Christie's favorites. Oh, oh who's that? Uh, well, uh, we're going to get to it in a second. There's no rush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first off, in, uh, in, on this date, this is an easy one. Okay. I'm not going to give it to Josh because he'll shout out the answer. Uh, we'll give this to um, Ms. Alsman. Okay. 1925. Um, this book was published. It's now sort of required reading in almost every high school. Um, the initials of the author, FSF. Uh, the Great Gatsby. Very good. All right. Very good. Made into kind of we a... Had to read it. A couple of weird it. movies. Yeah. My I daughter's like reading that right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She loves it. The, I um, like the Leonardo DiCaprio version. That's fun. Yeah. That's that way better than the Redford. That's oh, way better. I agree. Boring, weird, yeah, yeah, that slow. One's awful. Yeah. Yeah, the East Egg laid an egg in that one. <laughs> um, the first color 3D movie, this is for you, Josh, released in 1953. Uh, House of Wax? Very good. Whoa. Wow, have you seen it? I have. Yeah, yeah. it's a good one. Okay. Now, did you see the thing I sent you yesterday? Uh, no, I haven't checked my work email from yesterday. Oh, okay. Um, it's a really long story about uh, the killer clowns from outer space oh, movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, fun. that's a cult, that is cult a classic. Favorite. Yeah, but it's about the guys that made it and where they did it and oh, the whole story. It's my really oldest good. daughter's still traumatized cool. by that movie because <laughs> Dad showed it to her at a very it young was, age. It was a big flop at the time. Now it has oh, a huge a, cult following. Sure and they, they have yeah. they have gatherings where people go mm -hmm. and, and it does it sort of predicts a lot of the scary clown stuff that we are, have since seen. Hmm, cool. And it's a, it's a very interesting article. Um, let's see. Uh, also on this date, let's get to some birthdays. Okay, Christy, one coming up. You're going to be... You're gonna be oh, okay, I'm uh, The late John Madden, born on this date in 1936, um, who became a huge star. He's obviously a brilliant uh, status uh, a, a tactician, rather, in the world of football. And a fine coach, of course. Uh, and uh, his video voice became game. famous in video games. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's a whole generation that doesn't realize Madden football is about uh, based on uh, John Madden licensing his name. 1950, Ken Griffey Sr., uh, a pro baseball player, of course. Um, Steven Seagal. Steven, oh, Steven Seagal. Seagal. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I met him. You did? Oh, that's right, with the yeah, Dalai Lama. Yeah, he was protecting the Dalai Lama. <laughs> I have a picture somewhere. I think That's it's awesome. in my office of him. I protected him. He and I. Yeah, yeah. He was strapped. He had guns all the way you around. You better believe it, Missy. Oh. <laughs> he was the number one. Like on my mom's list of like hot guys, Steven Seagal was her number one. She absolutely loved him. Wow. Really? Okay. Really? Ugh. No idea why. And then Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> oh, so she had a kind of a type. Those. She did. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, and uh, Christy's favorite. Um, born in 1959. The great guitarist Brian Setzer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love uh, Brian. Formerly a stray cat. Mm -hmm. Now he's found a forever home Aww. with the, yes. with yes. the <laughs> Brian Setzer Orchestra. But uh, we have a little piece featuring the real Brian Setzer. This is one of my favorites. Time now for the guy who'd rather play guitar than have sex. <laughs> Brian, honey, put that guitar down and come to bed, baby. Yeah, in a minute, sweetie. I'm working on this great lick. Mm, that's exactly what I'm wanting you to work on in here. <laughs> no, man, the sound is awesome in here. It sucks in the bedroom. You don't like sucky sounds, eh? Well, I think I can make a sucky sound you're going to love. <laughs> Come here, I've got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? You got an old tweed Fender Basement amp in there or something? <laughs> an amp? No, I'm not talking about some stupid amp. It's not stupid, baby. It's all about the vacuum tubes, you know. All right, you bring your tube in here, and I'll do my impression of a vacuum cleaner for you. <laughs> sure, sure. 
In a minute. I think I'm going to change my G-string first. <laughs> well, what a coincidence. <laughs> I just happened to be wearing a G-string. Here, let me take it off and give it to you. Huh? Well, like what you see? No, 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 no. This, this won't work, man. I use 10 gauge string. <laughs> what is this? this is like silk or satin or something. <laughs> I, I can't get any decent tone out of that. All right. Let me put this in terms you'll understand. You need to turn the amp off and turn me on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay on standby for a little bit while I work on my solo. Fine. Better get used to going solo because I'm leaving. Have fun with that big chunk of wood in your hands. <laughs> this isn't a chunk of wood. This is a hollow body Gretsch, baby. It's got F holes. See? Better change that F hole to an A hole. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> This has been the guy who'd rather play guitar than have sex. <laughs> that is uh, that is pure poetry. Yeah, Dean. Uh, home a... home run, touchdown, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Every every conceivable play on words with guitars <laughs> and sex is in that piece. Uh, and a happy birthday, Brian. Such by the way, he's been here many times. A super nice guy. Yeah. And if you ever get so a chance to see him fun. solo or with the Stray Cats, yeah. go. He's great. Yeah. The Stray Cats are out this summer too. All right. Yeah. yeah you might yell things like you did. Well, you just played that one. <laughs> Things we learned on the Bob and Tom show. <laughs> well, I, I... Well, I won't I, be asking you to go. Well, back. apparently. I have a distinct sound is what I'm saying. Doesn't appreciate <laughs> rockability. Oh, no, he, he's nailed rockability. <laughs> Not Maybe it's, uh, so you think he's a faux gracer? No, no, I think, I think he's as genuine as they come. Yeah, absolutely. I love what he does. It's just he's very good at what he does and hasn't bothered trying anything else. We open Are this. you kidding? The, the knife that feels like justice? I will not have Brian Setzer. I'm obviously teasing. I love him. No, no, you're No, not. you're off my list. Well, Christy uh, Lee saw the Wienermobile yesterday. Uh-huh, I sure did. The big one or the little one? The big one. Driving down the They have a little one. one. So it's a weenie wink. Do you ever see that parking space? A weenie wink. Uh, for small, compact weenie mobiles only. I think it's at the airport. Well, I always try to park in it. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and